I got tinnitus in my ears. Yeah. Oh, is that you? Have you really? Yeah. All right. Hey, well, hello and welcome to another episode of the Never a Straight Answer podcast. The podcast that aims to cover a wide range of topics from conspiracy theories to popular culture and news. I'm your host, Gaz. Joining me in the studio. Well, apparently, if you rub him in just the right place, he'll grant you free wishes. You know who he is. He's my co-host, Mr. Taylor. Uh, yeah. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wishes are coming. A wishy-washy. Oh, wishy-washy. Fucking like Widow Twanker. Oh. Um, welcome back to Not another funny. episode of the show. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, new listeners and repeat offenders. Thank you very much. We and actually know that we've got a quite a lot of new listeners, so thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you very much. Hey. Yeah. Um, what was going to say? Um, this week got a good episode. We're going to be talking about gins, genies, and demons. Oh yeah. Oh well, we all know about genies. Oh yes. We the, do. They do wish do the free wishes thing, don't they? But both they devils do. and gins are featured in, in quite a lot of folklore. That's right. That's um, right. And um, do you know? They kind of have the um, attitude. They have the sort of uh, stigma of bad fortune, really. Indeed. So we're going to look into it. I think it's quite an interesting so, topic. It's quite a lot to it. It was more to it than I actually first thought. Yeah, uh, and it's they're old as well. Yeah. So basically, so oh yeah, time. yeah. So basically, they could do transmogrification. Yeah, uh, could, which yeah. is the ability to change into like animals and stuff like that, and um, turn invisible. It's witchcraft, I tells you. Oi, witchcraft. Yeah, that's all coming up shortly in the show, plus all the week's random events yeah. and the world news. Yes. Yes. Is but it before we get into that, I mean, if you want free wishes, I mean, we have talked about this, but, you know, obviously things change. Times change. Uh, do, yeah. If you had free wishes, what would you wish for? Um, hmm. Just uh, quick. Just, you know, like off top of your head. Off top of my head, wealth. Well, for you're not allowed. Yeah. Can you do that? I think well, we will get into that later because we do actually have like you know what you can and can't do with a genie. Well, yeah. What you can yeah. and can't oh, do yeah. with a genie? Hey, this is it seems like actually like um, a bewitch type TV show from the sixties, yeah. where you have a genie and he's like, nope. He's trying Didn't to put a show with grant a wishes and he's like, nope. Can't do that with a genie. Did, didn't they have a show in the sixties with a genie? I'm, I can't I'm remember. Sure, there was a show going. I remember off. he was like this, this whole thing about was like was it Sinbad? Like because oh, he yeah, did the yeah. things. Was it some, a bit of, Sinbad, a bit yeah, of genie man. action? I can't remember it, what well, show it was, true, yeah. but like or a film it was. Uh, but there was a there was a lo- Mandela effect. I can't remember exactly that what that was. So yeah. I'm not going to go down the road of trying to remember. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Well, no, what would no you point. wish for? What would I wish for? I'd wish for. Peace between Russia and the Ukraine. Yeah. At this moment, that's what I'd wish for. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Just do you know? Like, I mean, if you ask me, after that, yeah, it'd be oh, something yeah. else, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, that's true. But you can't have everything you, you can. ever wish for. And this that's is the true. thing with gins and stuff. We'll get into it in a bit. But we were like, there's sometimes a bit of a twist. And I mean, I we were talking about genies a while back, and you said exactly this about wishes yeah you know like in fact i think you used the sammy ad from five children in it as an example you know to say oh yeah there's always a bit of a twist if you oh, wish yeah. for something yeah. it's not always going to p- play out the way you expected or the way that you wanted it to and yeah. i think that does kind of play into the this whole gin yeah, uh, I, think you tr- I think you're right on so that we'll one. be talking about that later um but yeah i'd say that well i'd say Sort your necks out and, uh, yeah. you know, a bit yeah. of peace, please. World need, uh, the world needs a bit of peace at the minute. We need a bit uh, of a chill, well, since chill mode. For the time, 21st please. century, we haven't really had a good start, have we? No, really? not at all, actually. No, you bang on there. I think, like, for but the first three years. We had terrorism years. for the first couple of years, and we had uh, other outbreaks and, like, disasters, wars. Bam, bam, bam. Just keeps yeah, getting. It's just like, yeah, I feel like, like. We need a little bit of peace at the. We could do with a bit of a yeah, chill uh, spell. A little lie if down. You please. And, you know, look. Um, sit down but, in the corner. Yeah, so, um, I mean, obviously, I've been saying, you know, um, the news has just been quite yeah. weird this week. And um, we're going to. We'll it. talk about it a bit yeah, later yeah, on, but we'll obviously, what, I, what, have, what have you been up to this week anyway? Me, hey, I've been on uh, guest. I've been a guest on someone's show this week. He's been moonlighting again. I have. He's been off. 
I he's am. been off doing other shows. Uh, but don't worry, bros, I'm taking you with me. So, hey, me, I get offered. I get offered, asked yeah. loads of times, and I just go, do you know I'm too busy? Yeah, I do. Well, I try and with find all, a little, You with all your free time. time. Well, <laughs> you know well, I, mean? I ain't got that much free time. So, you know, as long as you plug the show, you yeah. crack on some. Oh, yeah, do yeah. You know well, I mean? it's the Ed Sullivan uh, Experience show, and it was uh, it was a good, really good uh, Enjoyed show. it, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, did, yeah. I, did, I did watch some of it, actually. I told you, I was like, again, it's just trying to find the time to you know, yeah, get yeah, all, yeah. Get all. It's yeah. like, you know, never well, ended. Well, I've told him uh, now, you and you, me are I'm going to come on, definitely, but like, it's one of them at the moment it's just one of them i've got i've got too much going on so it's like i need uh i need f- yeah i need to book some time if i book with them yeah yeah i'll do it yeah, yeah i'll yeah, proper yeah, yeah. like you know make the commitment to to appear but it's it's one of them it's like i feel like if i don't do it right now then i'll still you know it's on the well, cards man. it's yeah. just like yeah, yeah. not on the cards this today yes you know what i mean yes. i can't tell you when yes but it'll be pretty soon and yeah well i was just lucky i had a little bit of time to uh but you've been yeah uh, he's been like yeah, it's almost like this you see these blogs where it says like you know succeeding podcasting by appearing on at least 50 podcasts in a week <laughs> well yeah and it's like yeah i think you're going for it yeah i've got to spread the word man spreading the word, the word he was there uh, busting his, na- his uh, never a straight answer merch it was yes. awesome well done yeah um yeah but i'm glad you enjoyed it yeah, um, and to get them on good. as a guest on our show yes to yeah, be yes. we will we will talk to him about it get on it uh, and what have you been up to this week anything much just do you know what um, I've been like I say working a lot so I've not really had yeah. much time but like um, today day off so we had a bit of catching up on jobs doing bits that you know you you put to one side because you've got stuff going on. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Busy um, lives for everyone. But like, uh, I've got to say, like, watching the news this week, it's been a bit kind of like, you know, Dreary. making me sad a bit. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's, yeah, but it's constant, isn't it? You're not seeing anything else apart from about the war, really. Yeah, That's yeah. it. You, you're not. You're finding little uh, local newses and maybe some uh, other things, but then there are other things as well that have been, like, put to the back burner. I mean, like, the parties that have been going on in 10 Downing Street and stuff like that, that went a little yeah, bit quiet, that's, didn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, everybody, mean? obviously, he does want to be a bit Winston Churchill, yeah. that guy. Will it he? ever come up again? <laughs> yeah, that would be the question. It's like, whoa, I've just... <laughs> yeah, I just sorted out that fucking war, you know what I mean? No, now you want to try and... Um, yeah, sorry the YouTube video was late to anybody who was um, expecting it last, early last week. It was yeah. just a technical issue because usually, I mean, I don't want to go into the ins and outs, but usually no. we get that, it yeah. get pulls through, and well, you know, from every, one, one website to another, and it just didn't. So I like, did it, it, kind of it, but it's late. So it means you're kind of getting two episodes in a row, yes. really, because the new episode Lucky will be out. Buggers. And you just had one yesterday on YouTube, yeah. so you know what I'm saying? You're loving That's it. That's pretty I good. know you are. And remember Some that? Big I can't remember, because I've not had a chance to go over the um, the episode, mm. but I wanted to just, like, I w- I'd fact check on that film that I, I can't remember if I said, yeah, um, oh. it was Accidental Hero. Yeah. Yeah, or... Um, unlikely hero. Right. Right. Now, one of them yeah. is the film I mean, yeah, okay. which he sometimes one, actually it? just goes by hero as well, right? And stars Dustin Hoffman. Right, okay. Right? Could and it he, be one of them, like, American change their names to, you know, They do UK. for UK markets yeah. and stuff, but I don't know if that's why, but it is um, the accidental hero or yeah. unlikely hero, sorry, is um, a Ryan Reynolds superhero comedy. Okay. I think, yeah. All right. Um, but I can't remember which one I said. So, like, I just wanted to clear that up because Accidental Hero 1993 with Dustin Hoffman yeah. is the film that I meant yeah. last week. And, and it's really good. Yeah. So, yeah. I was actually so. thinking about well, maybe watching that again, actually. Oh, so right. um, okay. don't forget yeah. we're on uh, radio um, Redwall Radio. We are indeed. Eh? Um, usually on a Thursday from around yes. eight o'clock. Yes. You can go over and check that out, um, and they have a great selection of music. They do check out as uh, well. Check some of the other. Not play. only some good, good chit chat as well. Yes. Oh uh, yes. You know how it is. Good stuff. Yes. Um, good all the way through. Yeah. So that's been me this week. See. Anything? See. Anything else you've been up to? Uh, no, not really. Uh, just busy, keeping myself busy. Just keeping yourself busy on other and podcasts. And I've been sleeping a lot as well. 
you said that the other day. Yeah, you said that you've been I'm, like, you know, I'm, a bit. I mean, I've been seriously tired more than usual, and I'm like. Could it been because I, I did like a couple of night shifts and then I a think day it shift is. in between? And it's flipping your routine. Yeah, but usually I, it, it's probably my age catching up. But usually, oh I'd, bless, I'd, he's an old man. I'd, I'd actually catched up by now and like you know settled and I'd be wide awake. But I've st- I'm still got that tiredness. So yeah. I'm doing what every man should do if he feels ill. He's going to have a check. Go and get a check so, up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, get a check up and see if. Uh, in the meantime, it's like sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hibernate. Yeah, I you may as well if you can at the moment. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I just wanted so to say, much, like, you know, well done to uh, my mum. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, well like, done. My yeah. mum's been working like um, she yeah. she's basically been um, helping with an appeal for um, stuff for the Ukraine. Yeah, so she's, she's um, job, sent man. some stuff out. So well done, mum. Yeah. Yeah. Good on you. Sent me a photo. I was like, yeah, it's, go, it's getting to Poland at three o'clock. And I was just Sweet. like, get in. Look yes. at that. Yes. Be so, less yeah. starving over yeah. there now. Not just saying it was just my mum. It was yeah. like her and her team her or team. people she works with. Yeah, the yeah. people she was working with. But yeah, yeah excellent yeah, job, mate. I was really chuffed. They like, they like, That's really good. Yeah, that, I mean, there's a lot of people doing appeals yeah. and stuff like that. And I mean, the, the kind of the response from... Just everyone, yeah, just common normal people. It's been like a, been, it's been amazing, yeah. hasn't it? But we'll, we'll yeah, get into we'll, we'll talk a bit more about all this later on. Yes. Um. So this week's episode will be brought to you in part by Audible. Um. Audible is a great way of um. You know, for new customers to try audio books and make the most of every moment. Hell yeah. Um. You know, you can um with the trial, you can get one audio book of your choice. You can. You can keep you can. it. Yeah. yeah, no money, no money Cancel transfer, Cancel it. Nothing. And keep it even, either way. Yeah. yeah. Keep prime it members, way. because, you know, yeah. they're you're already... prime, you, you know, you're, you're a bit special there. Boom, boom, boom. I got prime. Yeah, you're a bit yeah. of a VIP. Yeah, you get two audio books on the trial. Nice. Yeah, and you can still cancel it, keep both the books. Oh, um, yeah. You're eligible to choose from a world's largest selection of audio books, including bestsellers, new releases, sci-fi, romance, mysteries, classics, and, and more... Massive. Yeah, after 30 days, you will receive one book every month for just seven ninety nine, and um, it renews automatically. You can cancel any time. Um, you can download and listen to the world's best storytelling. Enjoy Audible, Audible, Audible <laughs> audio books, um, original series, and even more yes, by uh, downloading the app. Um, I think they've got even more offers on. Yeah, at the yeah, moment. Got so check. Um, the look. link in the description. Yeah. So, get a free you, book. Why not? Free book. Well, yeah. if you do want a free book, I do recommend, which is available on Audible, mm. um, Gin Magic. Oh, nice. Yeah, which is how to um, bind the gin oh. and uh, do your bidding. Ah. So this yes. is how you. This so is how you catch it's like, it. It's like catching. It's, it's like Pokemon. I know. It's got to catch them all. Get your book. Oh. This book will teach you how to See. be a Pokemon master and catch real Pokemon. Catch your demons, basically. Oh. Um, but that's available on Audible, and um, apparently, Gin Magic: How to Build, um, uh, How to Bind the Gin uh, to Do Your Bidding is an audio book that you could get. Yes, you could for with free. your free trial. Yeah, for free. Yeah. So I maybe. thought you just b- uh, bumped like a little bit of your hair and you know a bit of twigs or something together. Oh, there's Said probably more words. to it. But there's stuff in it that in the actual um, reviews for the book, yeah, it basically says stuff Magic. like, you know, this is really informative and the book itself yeah. um, says stuff that they don't really want to repeat. Ah, yeah. so, you so might it might have some incantations in potentially. Ooh. I don't know. It's audio, Ooh. but... But it's like, imagine that you write... You know, I usually <laughs> listen to these things on the bus. Well, it's yeah. It's like listening yeah, yeah. to, like, <laughs> binding gins... <laughs> Sounds good though, um, yeah, yeah. So that's available, and you can use your free trial to you, get it. You can all have it for nothing. <laughs> well, gins. I mean, do you remember the film The Wishmaster? Uh, you're after you're after it. In my head. A okay, bit so one. it was um, basically um, a, a gin, yeah, right. which was um, basically it was a demonic gin though, so okay. a D gin, I think they call them. Okay, yeah, which was. Um, Tried to do the old free wishes thing, yeah. Because, right. firstly, 
a gin is kind of very similar to a gina, right? Whereas yeah. the difference between a gina and a gin is a gin is like a free spirit, if you like, and able to kind of attach to anything, anything it wants or a person, usually a person, and it does stick yeah. with them. Yeah. But a gina, yeah, is where a magician has been able to bind it so when you see, when you hear about like, you know, the genie in Aladdin, which if most people will come, when you yeah, say genie, they think of Robin Williams, like, you know, oh, doing the dance number. No. Ain't never heard a friend like me. Hey. Nah. And then like, that's their version of a genie, yeah. right? But the reason why the genie is bound to the lamp is because it's a gin yeah. that has been ma- ma- magically bound, yeah, yeah, to the lamp to do the magician's bidding yeah so it has to it can't leave it's its own it, 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 it's it, its own prison yeah basically so but like the Wishmaster was a ser- like a f- series of films that were but basically they were um, you know telling that story bits, yeah d- no doing the doing the bidding but it was kind of like you were saying earlier about a twist in the yeah. in the uh, wish and it's not going to play out exactly how you uh, it imagined does. it so it was like when you, we said that earlier, it did remind me of like the Wishmaster, yeah, um, right, okay, which yeah, was yeah. again like demonic gin, yeah, right. Yeah. So That's it's funny. it's like the first time I heard about this was really weird because like um, it was in a in a in something on YouTube, right? But it was the magician Dynamo, right? Oh I'm yeah, pretty positive. Yeah, yeah. I'm a hundred percent positive it was a, a summit with Dynamo. Right. Okay. And in this interview or kind of like um, expose of, you know, YouTube video that I've seen, he's basically saying how he, he kind of can do the magic he can do because he's got a gin. Yeah. yeah. And this gin oh. helps him and tells him things about yeah. himself. And yeah. uh, and, and I, I got all this information and about the gin from this magician in, dynamo yeah. okay. uh, or, or whoever because I, I, i'm positive it was dynamo but can i find that interview anywhere I, no i don't i don't know where it is or where i've seen it i yeah. think i remember him on this morning saying uh, stuff like that but i think he said he said it a few times but like just very rarely i mean was it david blaine could it have been David Blaine? Because he's a bit well, out there, isn't yeah, he? But, I mean, I'm be. pretty sure well, it was Dynamo. Sure it was yeah, Dynamo. I'm pretty yeah. sure it was Dynamo. Yeah. yeah, Dynamo, if you can hear us. Uh, yeah, let us know, mate. Let us know, we'll have a little chat about it. Because we won't mind having a chat. Yeah. But, like, basically, um, these, this idea of a, a demon, uh, like, basically sitting on your shoulder, and you kind of came up with an idea. Well, you were saying, well, surely, the, you know, these you... Is the demon, yeah, and it's that sort of idea of that um, angel and devil sat on, on each shoulders, shoulders yeah. and you were like, "Well, where's the the angel?" And it's like, "Well, no, there is no angel." Yeah, you but know. you're the fighting patch. If well, you're no, the fighting yeah, patch between that, the good that's and evil. If you had the, an, an alternate gin, or I mean, I'm not saying that these, you know, not gins that are good, because I mean, yeah. Yeah, in and we'll get into it in a minute. But yeah. like, basically, the idea of a gin. Um, is just like the idea of a human being. It's like these good people, these bad yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, there's all different these just these people who yeah. are on the fence. Yeah. yeah. And if what well, uh, research have done kind of indicates is that so this is what how the gins operate as well. Yeah. Yeah, and... Yeah, yeah I, I heard a little bit that they actually... Uh, they, they are good at the beginning, but they get changed... And I don't know where this change comes from, but they, they change over the time. So the older they get, maybe it's like, oh, people, the older we get, the more grumpy we get. It's one of them, like, uh, um, uh, but then on the good and evil, yeah, that number of three is a uh, supposed special number in the universe. So that's but why... Three I'm, is yeah, a magic number. Magic number, yeah. yeah. So you'd have to have three, and you're like the battlefield. So you've got good and evil on each side. Well, the bi- well basically, and it's and more of a, the jinn itself is more of an Islamic sort of um, yeah. legend, right? But it does show up in like, Arabi- Arabi- well, um, is it Solomon? Like yes, um, the yes. Book of Solomon yeah. um, about how you know there was. So the the what I can kind of glean is there was um, angels were made on the Wednesday. Yeah, 
Yeah. Like, he was... Yeah. The gins were made on a Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. But then there was 8,000 years or so before human humans came along. And we were made on a Friday. Yeah. Right, apparently. I right? thought it was a 1,000 years. Well, however long. Yeah. yeah right. A, long a, time. Per- a period of time. Yeah. Right, yeah. So he had a couple of days off and then rushed us on a Friday. Yeah. Right? I wonder what, what was he doing? Kicking his Half feet Half day up? Friday. You know I mean? Right. Lazy, man. Lazy. So he's... he's but that means that there was um, a, a, a species, an entity of, of like these gins yeah. roaming Earth before yeah. even legends of like Adam and Eve and stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah or yeah. even like you know, if that's true, yeah. then this was way before them. Now that's true. The way they described gins in the creation is that they were born from fire, um, smokeless fire. Right, and depending on the combination of uh, fire or the chem- or the way this fire was produced, yeah. it created a different type of gin. And they lived like we do, um, in the sense that they were um, like community, um, like they would um, get together. Yeah, they'd you know. have tribes yeah. of different types of gin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were able to move really fast. But they were really kind of stronger than man, an average man. Yeah, yeah. And also um, could like evaporate, turn into animals, yeah, transmogrify oh, yeah. and stuff right. like that, yeah, um, sort of evaporate and travel, yeah, at almost the speed of light, right? Yeah. Which it kind of reminds you of like more of an energy than um, a physical being. Well, right. yeah, because I've heard about how it, uh, it turns into wind, it turns into water, uh, it turns into sand. When there's ever, uh, there's a, a thing in uh, religion about a sandstorm, it, it means they're fighting. Well, yeah, I've seen, I've heard that about lightning storms as yeah. well. So, I mean, if you think about like you know um, a big storm and you see that off in the distance, or like you say, sandstorms. Yeah. Um, you know that is that is one of the legends. In, in the fact, there's legends um are going all around the world. Yeah, but, well, like that's it does true. start yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in in um you know Bibles um, and all 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 over um in some uh, of the literature. sort of religious texts. Yeah. Um. So you know these were created by God and had to go by the guidance of. So if they did, yeah. You know, do the sins, then they'd they'd, in trouble. they'd be heaven or hell in it. Do you know oh, what I mean? Oh, yeah. But it does kind of make me think about the what we were talking Literally. about with Keith a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, regarding kind of like other dimensional beings. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And whether that they they're not so much um, invisible or kind of like you know um, a, you know an entity or an energy. Yeah. But maybe they're on a different plane of existence. Like in yeah. the same respect, maybe these are the same op- same people creatures. Or, you know, um, entities that we're dealing with as poltergeists nowadays. Well, yeah, if you think about it, it's sort of... Yeah, it could come into the realms of ghosts as well as uh, uh, poltergeists um, uh, and with it changing its form whenever... Or it could be the ch- uh, the thing that... How we perceive it in its in that kind of time of error of, like, looking down... Mm. Uh, uh, a corridor and um, you'll always see that kind of reflection if it's walking down that corridor yeah yeah I mean like the idea of kind of having something because generally they say that they're born with you and or they attach at an early age if you do get one yeah and a lot of the time they're not like evil but they're because they've been with you so long they know a lot of a lot of stuff about you. They're your little niggle in the corner of your airway. Usually, your they're not positive influences, and there'll be that little voice saying, "You know, go and do this, go and do that." Yeah. To, you know, <clears throat> at which why, which is why there's a big link between, um, you know, people talking about gins and mm. mental health. Well, yeah, 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 yeah because. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, a lot of, for a long time, I think it was a definite um, ex- a reason for, you know, why people acted out before they could diagnose them properly as having like schizophrenia or well, something. Well, yeah, along the amount of lines. illnesses that we can we can like um, uh, sort out now to back then. I mean, even little things that we like can bring people back to normal. Well, not normal, but back to you know, sensibility of um, uh, a, uh, a normality life. Yeah. 
where back then it was like just throw away the key, don't don't care, you know, stuff like. Well, there's there's plenty of types of gin. So there's yeah. the hin, um, which is a type of gin that um, basically chooses the form of an animal, okay. uh, the appear of the form of a dog usually or something small. Um, so in Arabic, hin means little. Ah, I see. Yeah. So there's um, that. Then there's um, the ghoul, which is a type of gin known as a shapeshifter. It's basically cannibalistic and oh. um, blood drinking. Um, it's said that the ghoul feeds on blood and fresh human beings. Mm, <laughs> nice. Especially travellers or children. Especially travellers. That yeah. just sounds like an excuse. And um, the ghoul um, means, translates, or the way they do it, into beast. Oh, beast. Yeah. So um, then there's the jan which is another kind of gin that's a shapeshifter that lives in the, um, the deserts and usually appears in the form of a whirlwind. Ah. And you've also got the marid, which is a type of gin that is um, huge and powerful. They also get mentioned in pre-Islamic um, Arab, Arabian mythology. Arabian mythology. That's... You've got quite a few, actually. You've got the... Um, well, you've got the... The uh, IFRIT, which what? is... The I-F-R-I-T. Yeah. Yeah, which is a type of um, in, um, infernal gin, which is powerful and cunning. They're also known for, um, like, um, as... Emo- um, what's this? Um, winged creatures, uh, which are, are on fire. Um, they live underground um, in what? societies, um, apparently. Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot of them, but they're all different factions. Like there's the um, Nasna, Nasas. Yeah. Yeah, Nasna, Nasas. Nasas. I say it. Um, okay. Are another type of weak gin, usually known um, as the offspring of um, Shquit, which is S H I double Q. Right. Um, and human beings, so like a hybrid. Oh, interested hybrid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, I don't know. There's quite a lot of them. But then you got the uh, the the sort of recognised ones as well, like the succubus. Oh, or right. The, uh, or the inner bus, which is the male one, because the succubus is the female one. Oh, right. Uh, okay. And they're the ones who whisper to you um, where you're sleeping at night, where you're on, they're on your chest and you can't move. That's like sleep paralysis, so yeah. Well, that's that's a kind of um, uh, uh, thing that they're looking into. What, yeah, whether right. it's a gin sitting well, on your chest, like yeah, it's just your normal body reacting to like you're not woken up properly. You know, you're you're still asleep, but you're conscious. You know, like if you were in surgery. Well, they are looking into it, into mental yeah. health, gins and mental health, um, looking at gin uh, possessions so. in modern um, psychiatric practices. Yeah, so I found still an a lot article. about our brain we do not understand. Um, I just need to make this a bit sweet. bigger because, like, it's really small text on this uh, website. So basically, uh, the possibility of spirits inhabiting in human bodies um, is, uh, is kind of being put under um, scrutiny. Yeah. So they're looking into it. Um, I think this is... Where is this from? Um, oh, it's not even got the... What's it? So Cambridge, Cambridge University. University. Yeah, yeah this see. is a report from Cambridge yeah. University. And like I say, they're looking into the possibility of whether um, inhabiting human bodies is an actual thing. And that people, when they say, um, um, it's not me... It could be. And being told by the voices or whatever. That could actually... I'm not saying that's, that's all the ways the case, but, I mean, like, if... They, I mean, obviously, Cambridge are doing a study on it. Just made me think that it could... Uh, thinking about it, that it could be uh, an answer to what the soul is. That it's the gatherer. And the what, tormentor. your little Pokemon? Yeah. Like, little, you know little I mean? um, yeah. Pikachu on your shoulder going, going yeah. off. Well, they are able to tell you things about yourself. But yeah, only because, like, they've been yeah. with you for so long, but they're able to kind of, like, have an insight into you that you might not have. So if you're able to communicate with them, yeah. then you you can you can really kind of utilise it. Well, and then I think they that's when the they ones... say, like, these, these people, magicians or whatever, who are able to 
um, trap it yeah. and bond it because that's why. So I was talking at the t- uh, head of the show about, you know, Aladdin yeah. and how the genie is bond to that lamp. That's it's right. because a magician has done that to it, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you're able to kind of communicate with jinns, you become a chief, I think, yeah, which he, is Solomon yeah, in the yeah, book of Solomon. Yeah. Um, they say that he basically got the power to talk to animals and um, control beasts, call, yeah, yeah. Um, control basically anything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and he was able to get these jinns to build him and finish his temple. Yeah. Do you know? His first temple uh, made his uh, first temple by uh, jinn, supposedly. Jinn power. Yeah. By the power. What was it? Magic ring. Yes, yeah, yeah. I got a magic ring, ring yes. makes me talk to the animals. Yeah, and then he's Hitler like, was after it. Yeah, because he said can... that actually, because it was one of the artifacts Hitler yeah. was after. There was a spear of destiny. Yeah, the magical speaking yeah. to with all my trinkets combined. Yeah, and um, uh, it's Captain supposed Planet. to control armies. Yeah, that's um, right. Cause, the spear of destiny. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Um, but so yeah, so that comes into other stories. Into uh, I suppose magic or technology that well we the don't magic understand. thing makes yeah. me it's quite interesting actually because as as I was getting into this gin thing mm. yeah right and like looking at um the traits and everything the transmogrification being yeah. able to shape shift into animals um it's it's almost in the realms of Harry Potter in this magical world where true. you know it's it is more magic than you know than Spiritual. I mean, it's not because it almost explains magic in a lot of ways. That like it's that link to the magical world, if you like. Well, we mu- we must all all really gather now that you know magic is basically technology or a well, yeah. Because at one point yeah. or another, it was just not understood. Yeah, and it's like he's he's a wizard. I now tells we you. we want to find out how the trick's done, yeah. not like uh, uh, really. Yeah, What's yeah, yeah. Trick? That the, you, you, if if somebody came on YouTube and did a, yeah. a fucking trick and you couldn't understand it, you wouldn't just burn them. Yeah, yeah. You'd yeah. go, you go, right. do it again. Yeah, and you'd applaud them. You would. Yeah, it's uh, crazy guys. It is, but you've also got like shamans as well, who who go into trances to actually speak to demons and like uh, but that's demons. getting into the realms of black magic do you know like the the sort of magic that's kind of like you know a bit um alistair crowley do you know a bit kind of summoning demons and fucking you well, know well not uh, well not uh, well i suppose well no if you think about it like the indian tribes in uh, uh america that like they had shape shifters true true well they like wolves this, but this eagles, is funny you see because jinx. do you know when we've talked about like skinwalker ranch yeah and these skinwalkers say that it's yeah. like you know that kind of comes across as being like you know that sort of native that american jeans all around well maybe maybe it's a combination okay. of jinns and that sort of um you know unrested spirits yeah from do you know the all the yeah, shit that went yeah, down yeah. Yeah, in terms a, of it was uh, you took mad shit yeah well it was fought wasn't it between two uh, two tribes and um, when uh, two tribes go when it was war. given away by the Americans then uh, one of the tribes put um, like a hex on it yeah and it's been fucking like the I suppose one of the best places to go if you really want to uh, research, even though you can't go in there because there's experiments going on all the time, but people get still to this day get <laughs> Where? Hurt. Where? Where is this place? Uh, Chernobyl? Uh, uh, no. ISS? Uh, uh, no. Uh, uh, ranch. Oh, Skinwalker Ranch. Skinwalker yeah, Ranch, well, you yeah. can always go on the U- on the internet you and know watch you can, the, the, the CCTV yeah. cameras. You know you loads. can guarantee getting hurt. Like if you're going on land and if anyone digs on that land, that's when something happens a lot mm. as well. So how do you envision these gins? How do you see them? Because the kind of, I mean, the it, shapeshifters. loads of forms. It's like, how it. do you catch um, a spit at something that you can't see? Because obviously it can change into an, another animal. It can sh- shift on the wind. It can fucking Got to think evade, outside the box. can evade you. Got to think basically. outside the box to try and <clears throat> trap it if you really want to trap it. Well, that's well, why would you want to trap it, it when it wants to trap because you? Because 
if you trap it yeah. and bond it, yeah. then you are in charge of it. You get you've turned that gin into a genie. Essentially, you can get you it can grant you free wishes. Is why they bonded, right? You know, to to yeah. objects like rings and lamps and stuff like that. I mean, the story of Aladdin. Well, well there's got to be a, there's got to be an answer within the tale. So how other people had actually caught them and what, bonded. A moral them. in the tale. Well, oh. we, I mean, that book yeah. that I recommended on Audible, that yeah. does actually go into all that. Ah, see. So if you're so interested, it's worth, worth check it for out. free as well. And for free if you yeah. do sign up. But, yeah. um, go for it. I, I mean, the, the tale of Aladdin, yeah, is slightly different. I mean, Disney got it pretty spot on. I mean, the the guy wasn't called Jafar, I don't think. But, like, you know, well, it, it was about right. a guy who who basically used Aladdin to go into a cave to retrieve a lamp. He yeah. gave him a magical ring, which he happened to find out it was a genie inside, yeah. which helped him escape when the cave started to collapse. And Good thing. he got the lamp, but he didn't go to the guy. He went straight home. Yeah, yeah. right. And he's returned Sorry. home and he's got a magic ring and a, a lamp. Double. Um, he obviously used it then to oh, you know be, get, get rich, find and marry the... The Tsar's daughter, daughter yeah, or yeah, like the Emperor's it. daughter. And most popular, no one could touch me, man. So then the, the guy who's helped him is obviously, it's the story of Aladdin, you know yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, right. But like, um, obviously, it was a case of that he tried to use, once um, the the bad edge, if I say, took the, took the princess and all of the stuff because he went and tricked him. Right. Yeah, into saying, well, I want all the stuff Aladdin's got. Yeah, yeah. Crushed it, and he Empty. tried to use the ring lamp, which has been sat on the shelf because he's got the lamp yeah. genie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tried to use the ring to try and undo what it had been done. done, and it was a it was hard. You can't do mess. that because obviously he's more powerful genie. And yeah, all that you don't fuck with that genie when that but, genie's there. Um, obviously, the rules. Did you know genies have rules? Oh, go on then. So apparently you can't wish for immortality or long life. Why would you want to? I know, yeah, yeah. Well, you wouldn't, would you? You just get bored. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, um, you can't wish for world domination. Oh, um, well, that's Putin in trouble. Directly, that's what he's been directly doing. or indirectly. Yeah. Um, you can't wish for death of others, um, another living person. That's fair enough. But wishing for more wishes isn't in the rules. Hey, that's a good one. Apparently, that, yeah. yeah. But what, one trillion wishes. Just, well, no, I'm sh- I'm thinking if you are, if you're owner of the lamp, yeah, yeah, if you have free wishes, yeah, and you use your free wishes, you the, the, well, no, why are you fucked? Because you still own the lamp. It's not like I'm going yeah, to give you free wishes. I'm not going to give you free wishes and then say that's your lot. Yeah, I'll but live then- in this lamp here. Yeah, well, yeah, until some other individual gets the hands on there, and if he rubs it, I'll give him free wishes. But you, you can rub all day, but I'm not coming out. You know what I'd do? I'd go to an auction, and uh, Why? Uh, you own the lamp. If you yeah. if you've used your free oh, wishes, no. then that means once you've it's used them, to you me. rub yeah. them again and get another free wishes. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I'd just go. I'd just go to an auction and go, yo, yo, mate, have you got the money? Rub it. You got your free wishes, right? Ten million pounds. What, so, you just, you, so you just set up a shop and where people could it, come in for a wish. he's got his wishes and I got Wishes are us. Yeah. And, in, and you charge a man a tenner for a million quid wish. No, 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 because he can wish for anything. He could wish for the money for me. So he he's covered wish. your ten pound with his extra with his wish. Well, he's, he's really getting two wishes because I want one wish out of front. him. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, it's a payment system. Oh one right. So you're getting like I'm getting one wish. Yeah. Well, he gets two. No, I would do the other way around. You can't be giving nah. away wishes like well, that. Well, yeah, but it won't be. In, I can't wish, wish it. They can because I've I already had two. my three wishes. What I'm doing is I'm showing. Look, I've got a lamp here and I got a genie in here. Now, if you buy it off well, me, no, because you, you need, could have three you need wishes. To think about it, yeah, and go right. Well, here's what I want, but I want him to wish for it. So you have it wrote down and say, right, you can have your wish, but you've got to read these two wishes out straight afterwards. Yeah, but you're forgetting one thing. He's a jink man. He, he, he understands you. He knows you. Well, not necessarily because Aladdin didn't wasn't like he wasn't like brought 
Yeah, with, but he's not going to be stupid. The, he's going to be calculated. Lamb, was it? He's going to be calculated. I mean, he's going to be clever. Yeah. yeah. So he ain't know he ain't know the basis of what like he could clock something there going. Well, you're actually trying to trick me there. You know what I mean? So I'm going to play along and I'm going to grab you right at the end and I'm going to fuck you up. You're play grab ass. Yeah, I'm well, going to play along. The Aladdin um, story is probably one of the best known tales um, yeah. in associated with the book of a thousand um, and one nights in um, the Arabian Nights. Yes. Uh, books. Right. Um, despite being one of um, part of the original text, mm. it, um, it wasn't part of the original text. Wasn't it? No, no, no. It was added um, ah. by the Frenchman Antoine um, Galland. Ah, I see. Yeah, and based on a folklore that um, he heard over in, um, well, he was in, um, what was it? In the Assyrian storytelling um, place. Like he was somewhere and they were telling the story and heard it in Syria. See? So, but then it ended up making it into the revised version of the um, Arabian Nights. Ah. So there you go, if you didn't know that. So there, there oh. it's a bit of a... But yeah, Jin's mytholo- mythology, um, obviously they're of supernatural spirits, mm-hmm. uh, they're, in associa- they're associated with, um, you know, at the level of like angels and devils. So that's what well, I'm saying. Yeah, they're like yeah. another version of... Because that's what they say, don't they? God, if there is God, he created the angels, the devils. Yeah. Um, the well, they turned himself for being bad, didn't they, really? Uh, yeah, but is it just like, what are they? Where do they come into it? Are they, when they say the Holy Ghost, you know, have we kind of been missing that interpretation? If he made three lots of, of things like angels, these then ghosts, jinns, uh, yeah, yeah. and then us, and then it's like you've got the Holy Trinity. Yeah. Yeah. Then I don't know. Oh, you woo, woo wobbling well, my head. Um, so I don't know. I think like when you think of them on a spiritual thing, because there's so many. Because what was the other thing? There was the Anunnaki. Yeah. Um, um, there was also the, the giants, the Sumerians. Like you know, who, where did where did these jinns fit into this? Well, into all these different apparently, you know crazy fucking cre- people, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. Well, it, it, there's a, a, a list. It's a Sumerian uh, king list, which is uh, 12, uh, like, blocks with writing on it. And it actually, and they're, like, 4,000 years old. And it does mention uh, about a demon um, uh, succubus kind of uh, female a called succubus. Uh, Leo. Right. Um, which... Um, it, she she basically preyed on women when they were asleep um, to give them um, either nightmares and and you know get them to uh, to try and uh, do their bidding uh, or her bidding uh, and she was uh, quite powerful uh, supposedly back in back in them days and that that's like that's a long time ago and like um, it, that time. Um, with the Sumerians and the Anunnaki in that. Well, the Anunnaki was supposed to have uh, brought jinns here as slaves to actually dig for the gold. And then because there was only a set amount of them that uh, we cr- were created to actually do the bidding. Well, there. why did they all get wiped out then? Because, like, they were supposedly um, killed off. Because there was a war... Uh, well, supposedly there was a war we stood up because... Uh, one of the Anunnaki gods had given us the uh, brains and uh, basically um, the chance to uh, uh, pre-create um, that we grew bigger and bigger and fought against them. They left, but we hit the Jinx as well. Supposedly dist- uh, destroyed both of them. Um, and obviously the five Anunnaki left and that's where the story of, I suppose, humanity continued uh, with all the laws and mm. all these brand new things that we just learned. Right, okay. So it makes me wonder, though, where's this ring that Solomon had? You know, if he... Because basically he bonded um, his gin to, yeah. to this ring. Um, so apparently, this is what I've just found out. Um, so we put it in bondage, um, this gin. Um, and... Um, had it 
um, had it ordered to perform a number of tasks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what they were, God knows. Uh, well, but, he would. I would imagine he would. But um, it, it's interesting. I found a couple of other stories, you know, like people's personal accounts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is um, um, a story called uh, The Fright. So one time, my mother-in-law was sitting in bed. She looked over and saw a woman sitting in a chair next to her bed, um, basically with long pointy fingers, and her face was very sharp angles. Um, she was so frustrated and annoyed with uh, the gin. Um, they uh, see a lot in their house and uh, no longer afraid, uh, just annoyed by them. Um, that she reached out and grabbed the gin by the wrist and yelled, get out. I'm just, I'm tired of you, get out. And it started to try and pull the wrist away, eventually trying to bite her on the hand because okay. she wouldn't let go. Yeah. Uh, she pulled the hand away before it, it did indeed bite her. Oh. Um, and then the gin vanished. So you, you possibly can frighten it away? Well, you can because they're not invincible. Yeah. That's, yeah apparently that's they're just like, they, they're strong, but yeah. they're not like super invincible. Yeah, you hit you them know. in the right place. They're going hit down. them in the goalies. Yeah, they're going down yeah. like a second sheet, man. Yeah, so like um, it, um, basically um, is another one. Um, a gin and the locket, right? So this, oh, wow. uh, um, a, a boarding school, um, we had a few cases of bullying. Um, in one think. instance, the bully broke a chain on a student's neck. And as soon as it happened, the girl started to speak in a male's voice. While Ooh. her body control um, went basically into strange positions, um, it said that a djinn had been travelling um, from far away places. Meanwhile, the bully's tongue swelled up and almost <laughs> um, prevented her from breathing. Oh, shit. Long story short, the teacher was called into the room and apparently the parents knew um, and had uh, gotten the chain for, for the daughter um, as a gift. So why would you know? Oh. Uh, how would you know about that? But basically... Um, yeah, why would you give your daughter? Well, um, a basic... What was it? They, they had that... They'd gotten the chain for the daughter from a, a shaman who um, held uh, the gin in. Ah, uh, say so. Well, still, why would you give it to your daughter? Well, they might have said that it's a good one, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, religious purposes, they've taken it on and gone... Well, yeah, yeah, to keep her safe and all that, and obviously, uh, it's a bad one. Yeah, have you heard any? Yeah, I've got a couple one. more of these, but have you um, uh, heard oh man. any stories? Oh man, the uh, country. Uh, well, apparently, there's uh, a place called uh, Sal- Sam- <laughs> Salama. Um, See, it's, it's sometimes it's difficult. It's yeah, not just it me. Yeah, it is. Where um, there's uh, one of the biggest caves in the world. Uh, which was found in June 1983. Um, the local uh, name, which I put into English, is called the Meeting Place of the Jing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, apparently, um, Jim, Jim is Jim, Jim, one Jim. of them haunted places. And right. it's massive. It's fucking massive, mate. It's so, um, I found this story. Hmm. Yeah, so this happened when um, a grandmother was um, in Egypt. She was basically an Egyptian ambassador oh. to Spain, ah, right, and was living in Spain. Ah, um, senorita. So the girl who's wrote, or I assume uh, the person who's wrote this um, story, mm. basically says they were two years old at the time, and their mother said that they would see um, me standing by the staircase consistently talking to somebody, right? Oh, right. When she would uh, put me to bed, I would stare at the door and say, tech, 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 tack. Later on, her grandmother mentioned it to her mum and said that she thinks that there might be, um, there might be something going on. They might be seeing spirits. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, in the house. And when um, the QW were talking about it, or I assume don't know what that means yeah um the grandmother said that um the tv in the room turned on sponta- spontaneously and sometimes you could hear shadows um running across the balcony although the spirits um and then split the blinds oh 
Interesting. Right? So there was obviously something going on. Yeah, yeah. But, like, whether Spooky. they do have sort of a connection with kids, do you know what I mean? Because that's what we are going yeah. back to earlier. If they, yeah. if they attach to a child at an early age... Yeah, then yeah. they're going to... Now, why why up. do you think they attach? Because in terms of attachment, right, it's like Shoes I think they play it. on... Well, no, they play on, like, obviously depression and sadness. If you're in a down place and you've got negativity... And you can get the truth it from plays the child on vulnerability. It from plays that. on vul- vulnerability, doesn't it? Really? Well, yeah, that'd be a part of it. But I think, you, uh, like, you can you can get the truth out of a child more than you can get it out of an adult because they don't understand yet, mostly. Yeah, but I mean, like, have you never felt so the like the way to you know, con- convert someone? You get them from a younger age. Oh, of course. I you mean, know what like, to put them in that to right put them in aspect, that frame of yeah, mind, to put them in that right area and path yeah totally i mean what the jing want you shoot so it's basically like if a jinn's influencing you then that's just that's that's just what's happening it's just trying to whisper in your ear and cause you to do things that you potentially might not want to do or never do before yeah right but if you're brave if you're able to bond the jinn yeah it is a you're able to kind of get it to do your bidding but like also i think you can able if you're able to communicate with it it can yeah. tell you things about you. Invisible man. That, like, has an, it almost has an opinion. You know, makes me yeah. wonder, we've talked about kind of like that inner voice and we've yeah. kind of put it down to, you know, you know, your soul or you kind of, you're like, you're in a monologue. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, but... Yeah. Maybe, potentially, I don't know. Yeah. Who well, knows? There's, yeah, there's, I mean, there's so many different routes you could put on, uh, on that, to be honest, because... Like, uh, could it be, uh, a, 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 if we are in the Matrix, could it be connecting through that kind of thing? Yeah. Or well, could it be our soul, like you were saying, or could it be just our interpretation or our, or, or like our, uh, our, um, our, our own, our, our own spirit talking to us. Yeah, I don't know, you know, honestly. I mean? it's, there, there could be a different. Well, the, the, um, the grandmother went on to say that, um, obviously that, she said that it's no known that obviously kids can commune with spirits, yeah. um, and sometimes animals can see them. Yeah. Um. So yeah, when she true. saw her talking to the um to something mm. on the stairs, she assumed that it was a spirit in the house, and that the um it was only the child that could see it. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, which generally is, but then the child doesn't understand about gins and all that unless it's you know it's grown up. It's a smart ass. It does seem like people use, you know, the when you know in the, all of the kind of history and mythology of it, yeah. it comes across as these are uh, demons or spirits. Yeah, yeah. like a, like malevolent, like or angels. There's a lot of well, yeah, they because call it it's angels. totally different. I mean, obviously, I'm not saying that all these jins are evil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some are, could be potentially yeah. quite helpful. It's a mixed bag, in it. Like, it's a mixed like bag. It's the like, world. It's like the bag. world. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you know, you get good people, bad people, yeah. weird people. You know, terrible you know, people, def- ugly, nice. Yeah, all the the variety, the rich tapestry that is. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah, I'm sure right, in their yeah. in their realm that they're the same. Yeah, yeah. right. So. Um, but it is funny that most of these stories do sound very kind of ghost ghost stories. Yeah, it, there, there is a there is quite a connection to it. If there you is, really isn't think there? I mean, it, but yeah. it's like I always like I but want then to catch a ghost does, now. But then religion, the Ghostbusters, does as well. Ghostbusters must be a wash with wishes. Oh yeah, they try wish. saying that. A wash with wishes. A wash, a wash with wishes. wishes. Yeah, yeah. A wash with wishes. Got loads. Wish, wash, That's wash. what they're doing with that machine. Yeah, when they plug the 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 the, um, the ghost. You know, they've caught it in the trap. Yeah. Yeah, they come back to it. You know what Pecker wanted to turn off? Oh, yeah, yeah Pecker. Walter yeah. Peck. Yeah. He come down, he wanted to turn the what fucking the, 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 um, reactor off. Yeah. And it's like, well, nah, they're all our wishes. Yeah. We've, we've been what collecting them. We were going to get a better pole. See? You'd say bad things can turn out through your good wishes. You try well. and get a good yeah. wish. You know yeah. what I mean? And some knobhead comes along and does something like that. So, um, yeah. Well, it's just a spooky place. It's crazy, isn't it? Um, it is. I'm just trying to see if I've got any more information on these well, things. Well, supposedly, I've got a few people who supposedly had the uh, uh, jinx, which uh, Winston Churchill. Really? Jo- yeah. Joan of Arc. Uh, Alexander the Great. Really? Uh, these all had yeah. like kind of like little 
Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm just going to keep calling them Pokemon because that's the only thing I can kind of liken oh, them to. Yeah, they are Sitting no, on your shoulder. Like, um, speaking like cartoonies at you, like, beep, 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 beep. like, like, Schnarf. Yeah, you got uh, Mahatma you Gandhi and uh, Nicholas Tesla, who, when they started calling him a weirdo and shit, it was because um, in 1901 he reported that uh, a jing was telling him that uh, from Mars was telling him the ideas on. Was he from Mars or was he just a jinn? Well, this is it. This yeah. is it, but whatever the gym was uh, telling him, he, he, you know, he, he made the stuff, you know, he made, oh, he he did, made, he made he the, did, he, he had did the, the sauce, stuff. yeah, yeah he had the sauce, he knew the, he knew the technology before we, anyone else did, yeah, you know what I mean, so there the could be something in it, but you never know, well, like I say, it's it's, it, it, it still weird. remains, um, you know, r- very kind of powerful influence in religion, yeah, um, in yeah, terms of definitely. like health and disease and stuff like that. Um, especially in the Islamic um, religions, as well as yeah. you know, like it turns up quite a lot in the West as well, in a lot of different places like Turkey and um, yeah, where that's else? True. Um, even kind of. But it could. But I mean, it depends how you look at it, isn't it? Because apparently, like they say, there's some sort of genes that are, are are cannibalistic. Yeah. And we were looking at kind of like the hide behinds and yeah, some other kind right. of um, shadow creatures. Yeah, that that potentially don't seen, they don't but, like being seen, but leaving evidence. But, but they do leave evidence. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I mean, in terms of poltergeist, explaining a poltergeist or explaining like you know paranormal activity. Yeah, does this kind true. of fall into that category? Category. Do you know, oh, like, yeah. because they, they do they kind of come across quite that a few as categories, to be honest. They aliens. do, don't they? I mean, it turns. It's almost like um, you know when people say about having a guardian angel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like if you've got somebody who's like helping you or talking to you or, and you kind of believe it's someone else. I was saying this about if, if you know, what uh, Keith's theory was about, you know, these imprints from like another world or like when he's, he's, yeah. his um, Bible set on fire, is it is it just quantum entanglement? Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, totally. You know, is it? You know, it's almost sad to think that you know, if you feel like you're being visited by a loved one that's you know that's died, yeah, and it's it's almost comforting, and just to find out that that's that not, not the a, case, yeah, then it's kind right. of like a bit of a like oh, a, bit a bit of a letdown, yeah. yeah. So you know, it's a, it's in one respect a kind of a, a kind of like rom- it's a romanticized way of looking at it. That's true, but I always got to consider. But yeah. if the science comes out and says, nah, you know, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've, I've, I've always got to consider the facts of, like, when you say, like, um, you don't see everything that's out there. Uh, we don't know a lot about the brain. We, you know, we're, we're trying to learn more about the brain, but it's a case that we still only know a, a portion of it. So I, you've got to keep that uh, in the background of, like, you know it, that it could be um it, it could be that that it could be just our visual cortex is saying something that's not actually there have you got anything else to add on the gins i have not have well you? well no i mean well, i think like you know the idea of the genie i never kind of looked at the genie in that sense where yeah, i felt like it was a um a a gin a gin yeah. yeah or something that had been kind of i mean it's even though, funny like, because it's even in though in it, it is actually said in Aladdin yeah, that, yeah. that he's bound, you know, the only way he can kind of become free is if he uses one of his wishes to to free him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I never ever thought of the idea that somebody once bound this. I mean, it even does actually have that, come to think of it. It has that scene where it plays out where some evil wizard... In chains him yeah. into the lamp, but that's basically the cat skirts over it. It just yeah. shows you, it's and, right, and it's almost right like you know, it's the case of the Aladdin's his master, you know, throughout that film. Yeah, but genies, you know, they've always been like you know, in my 
idea of a vagina has been like, you he's, know, you. He's a bloke in a bottle. He's yeah, a blue, free blue, wishes. blue dude with free wishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah, going to yeah. sing a song up a yeah. bit, of maybe. Because that's, uh, that's what we've been shown. You see, I think as well, right? Yeah, these bits in that film, right? And I mean, I don't want to go on about the film too much, but like, you know, these bits You're in that film that, know, yeah. where it kind of um, it begs to ask whether. Um, this is set in the past or the future, yeah, right. Oh, in in the past. well, yeah, maybe, but like basically, these bits where um, the gene goes to other parts of the world right. and comes back wearing like you know a, a Bermuda sh- Bermuda shorts and a like okay. Hawaiian shirt or whatever, and it's almost suggests that he's, he can time travel. Well, rather, he can time travel, or that it's like a post-apocalyptic world. Do you know what I mean? Like, and Agrabah yeah. is like in the future, in the desert. Yeah, yeah. You know, a couple of thousand years in the future, future. where yeah, exactly. we're trying to get everything together again. Yeah, it's like a mark, you know, like a kind of primitive market. Yeah, I never thought and about like that people, way. people, and it kind of might explain the magical aspect because obviously you don't Techno. consider that it was technology. Yeah, yeah that's true. Do you know true. what I mean? But yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Good point. Yeah, Very well, good point. Yeah, I didn't go. think of it that way. Yeah. Are you into top 10 lists? What about pop culture? Or maybe you're just a nerd like us. We've got a show for you, loser. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm Brandon. We're the hosts of the Tennis Podcast, a comedy and edutainment podcast covering a new top tennis list every week, including fun facts and trivia. We've covered lists such as the top 10 most popular 90s songs on Spotify. The deadliest animals. The worst U.S. presidents. The leading causes of death. The best-selling video game franchises. The most common murder methods. Okay, are you going to give one that isn't about death? The deadliest jobs in America. <sighs> Listen to these and countless other top 10 lists every Wednesday at TennisPod.com or wherever you listen to podcasts. Top horror villains by their kill count. I think we're done here. If you listen to this podcast, there's a good chance to see you will die. We are the Tennis Podcast. That's one zero ish Bye. Well, that's our featured podcast this week. Thank you very much to the Tennis guys. Oh, yeah. If you like top 10 lists yeah, man. with a bit of comedy and some really funny stuff these guys and he's been that having some guest guest sidekicks as well recently which I've been enjoying um, so yeah check them out you've just heard Enjoy the promo uh, Tennish podcast um, they, they do some really good top 10 lists they do indeed they do. indeed they do well do, do, do. I've got a gin on my shoulder it's telling me it's the news it's the news he was right, you know. He was the gin. Why? Because he was the news. Oh yeah, it's the news. Yeah, it's the news. Yeah, he's always right. He's always it's the fucking news. He's and as fucking usual, listener. as usual, we've yeah. scoured the world wide web to find you the most entertaining and yeah, weirdest, craziest, entertaining news Mad that we could minutes, possibly that. find in a short space of 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And I think we did well. We did. We did. Well, I think so. I mean, I think we should do well, a bit you're of the an, judges. We do some like updates first about what's going on mm. um, at the moment, you yeah. know. So the the other day I woke up right where it was like proper surreal because they were yeah. saying like, "Oh mate, the the Europe needs to wake up. The power stations on fire, right?" Yeah, and it yeah, was yeah, like, was "What? Serious. What the fuck?" Yeah, mm. um, and then later on that day, the Russians basically got seized control of it yeah right? took it over yeah so does that mean that they've got control over the electricity and gas yeah workers are still working oil now. as well <clears throat> yeah and uh, bio products as well what do you mean bio products I mean uh, like uh, uranium yeah that Shit. have been used and like you know it's waste so they need uh, they keep a storage of that kind because of stuff because I, w- well. I was under the impression that they were shutting it down uh, I believe out of I think because you know the, obviously there, fear of like working. damage to the reactors they wanted to shut that shut that shit down. I know one's working out. I think there's five of them uh, connected there. Yeah, um, right. and uh, luckily enough, it didn't hit the main buildings, um, uh, and apparently there's no there's no like uh, radiation uh, pouring out. Because again, so. I don't want and I mean this is the difference between kind of like your media outlets and trying to work out where. Mm. Um, the truth is because yeah, I was reading reports of, lies, of people it? in nearby towns taking radiation tablets. And I mean, I'm not sure if they're just doing that for safety, safety 
or is there a reason why they're getting doled out to people to take in the first instance yeah, has there been even. a breach in the in the reactor somewhere potentially potentially i mean really will they tell us because uh, it, it again because i don't know if that is the case and it. i'm not saying that is the case yeah. and i don't want to scare them we don't know but a lot for of the reason why i find found that story interesting was because you know they're the is it a true thing or is it like the, yeah, the is it precaution or is it actually serious and yeah, something's exactly. going on yeah. yeah yeah i mean you got you got to be suspicious with information these days because half it's true half it's not and like there has been a lot of uh, some of it's embellished yeah 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 there's been a lot of them where um they're actually games well that, i mean that it's gone round. i mean i don't know if we talked about it last week but mm. i mean like the, there's a video um going round of this um a tank basically swerving oh, yeah. to hit a car runs over the oh, car so, and yeah. i mean it looked like you know Whoever the kid was, was playing it, gta yeah and who went the guy in it he had a super close call because he was he survived he basically was and um, when the, the public man. came over to help him out with the you know the the yeah. cutters and everything he was literally sat in the middle of a crumpled car. Anyone else in that car would have died. Yeah, basically. Everyone he else. was lucky he was on his own in yeah. the vehicle, basically. Really but, like, um, honestly, really, really kind of... It's, it's it, the news pitch, it is... Yeah, and exactly. And it comes back down to what we were talking about last week about it being the most publicised, um, filmed yeah. war. Yeah. You, know, um, I've, you know, it's on all the news outlets it's yeah. on youtube drones on, are in there as well there's yeah. loads so you of, know uh, it's um it. there's a lot of public yeah but there's, there's a lot, a lot of lies that have been thrown in with it so you just got to be careful well the funny what? thing is because a lot of the lies that are going um out are going into russia yeah because obviously russia now have closed down all youtube and everything they they had yeah so all Russia's the information is basically coming from one or two news outlets yeah and yeah. they're only being told what they want them to know yeah yeah there's so it's like russian reporters l- leaving well these russians who yeah. actually believe that what what's happening is tr- is, is their is, freedom fighting yeah. for the, the and ukraine the, they're going into the help started, them because yeah. ukraine need our help yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. like what Putin's doing is justified and you know we would never go and hurt anyone well what a fucking shock they're gonna get at the well, end of that's it that's it isn't it well that, like you say there's a lot of people waking up because a couple, like th- this week there's been cases of people just going up to the Kremlin with a sign yeah. or you know a picket um, just one or two people Every one of them's been arrested, as essentially. Did you um, see about the... Now there's been a full-on protest today yeah. on Moscow, um, and a, lot of, people a were lot of people were arrested. It, it, you know, it's they know what's going on. There's, there's a lot of people who do know what's going on. Did you see the one with the uh, woman with her two children uh, making placards? The police busted in, arrested them, and separated them. It's crazy. It's like, what the fuck? Well, are you this doing, is it. Man? It's like, you know, if you don't like it our way, it's our way or the highway. Yeah. And, um, you know, these people trying to flee Russia yeah. at the moment. Yeah, yeah because yeah, they don't it's... feel safe. They don't agree with the politics. They don't agree with Putin. And it's, yeah. um, it is um, a, a sad situation that these people, you know, and having have to evacuate in... f- from every direction at the moment. And, you know, I, I, in a lot of ways, it's been amazing how welcoming. Yeah. People have been at borders. Um, now, you now know, the like question Poland, is, um, a lot of respect for Poland question, for helping the uh, Hungary. Is, are they going to be the same with the uh, Russian people who are trying to get away from it as well? Because we can't have the. But again, there's no, you off. shouldn't be discriminating against be. people because. Well, there is in the you know, the, you right. know, in Russia, if you want to leave Russia, you've got to kind of convince them you're going to come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's now. like you now at the mo- yeah. well at the moment, a hundred percent. You they don't want you, you know, leaving the country, finding out and, more and evading yeah. or being more, you know, clued up to what's actually going on. Yeah. Um. But like I say, I mean, the solid that solidarity um that I've seen today has just been unbelievable around the world. Yeah. Uh, there was a post on Facebook, and I did tweet it out because it was really amazing to see because. There was protests in every major city around the world, and um, there was images all being updated from every every um, you know capital, every city. See, we can't um, work together if we need. They to. were all kind of galvanised under the same flag. you know um, flag. Yeah, they uh, were all kind of, of yeah the flag of peace. And you know, I think like if they can't take note of it, 
But then again, it's like there's a lot of scrutiny over NATO at the moment because of the not issuing a no-fly zone. Yeah. And it's, it's in one respect, I kind of know, know where they're coming from, but if they've not worked out yet that the war's already started... And he's pussy whipping up. Because they, this is the problem. They won't issue any no-fly zones uh-huh. or they won't do anything or step foot in the Ukraine because they don't want to start World War Three. Yeah. Now... World War Three started. I mean, it did. It take. It, it only took this much to start World War Two. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, an invasion of another country. Yeah. Uh, you know, a sovereign land. And if they can, if they're going to invade, and then us. Well, you know, now the problem is, like you said this earlier about Putin. He's yeah. not part of any uh, treaties, any NATOs, yeah, any UNs. All, yeah. He's he's. Um, he's he's kind of like business. distanced himself from that, yeah. which means he doesn't have to play by their rules, yeah, exactly. right? He's told Whereas the all of the rest of NATO, Has including to. the UK, right, are bound a bit. They're like, "Whoa, we've got to be really careful because we've stuff, got, yeah. yeah, we've got, tr- we've got things in place, yeah. that, or we've got to go through this body of councillors." to kind of justify what we're going to do. Well, we can't go in and, and turn around and say that he couldn't do that when we actually did that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's that kind of tit for tat. Totally, It's a yeah, lot of politics right? going but on at the minute If as well. they've not realised that this is already happening, yeah, then what What next? If, they're gonna, if they invade Finland, which is not, yeah. a, again, not yet a NATO country, yeah. yeah, which they've already gave an ultimatum to, saying if you do decide to join NATO then there'll be repercussions. Moldova, yeah. You know, is Georgia. it a case of how many countries did it? Because if we carry on with this attitude, then they're just going to, people just going to roll through Europe. Well, yeah, they, this with is this it. on the fence attitude, I don't get it. But again, I'm, I mean, I'm is more it? for the peace. But again, it's, you need, it, you need to stop. Slap. It he needs, needs to stop. Yeah, it needs a kick. Anyway, to, moving to on. It. But then that, some. that means we've got, on all serious on that one, that means we've got we're going to have to kill a lot of the, the, his people. Well, it's that, that again, but that that's yeah, un- I know, unfortunate, which, isn't yeah, it? And it is unfortunate because half of them don't even understand what's going on. They were well, thinking it's well, we've seen shit. that, but I mean, and but, I can kind of get that to an extent. Like the but if we're here, there, be like, right, if they don't, I mean, this is it. it. Depends how kind of quiet the yeah. um, they've kept the military in the dark. You know how yeah, they yeah, how yeah, much yeah. they've kept them in the dark about if all the media it coverage. People, it's going to be easy to now, do their own truth. if if a couple of them find out, it's like is, how how quickly are they going to be silenced? As you know, that's not legit. That's not a real thing. Yeah, yeah. You need to shut up about that. Yeah, yeah. And if they carry on talking about it, are they seen as enemy of the state and at, removed from the unit before that spreads? Well, yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Well. It's like in terms of information give to the troops, they might actually really believe that they're just on yeah. exercises. But to have that uh, much force on a convoy and still think that you're on exercises, yeah, yeah these aren't the sort. Well, they, are they the type of people you want in your military? Because they sound a bit true. Yeah, forget the blanks. Here's the live ammunition. Um, I think the best the best outcome of this at the moment is that there's a coup. Yeah, potentially. That's the, yeah. That is the best. Well, nobody outcome. can get near Putin. Well, he's in his cellar, in he? You know, I'm you got to have a couple basement. of. He's going to have the tr- his trustworthy people around, but you know, you know, one or two of him, you could turn him. Yeah, maybe, you know what I mean? maybe. Maybe. Maybe well, there's a plan in action. Obviously, to do um, the internet's been down in the Ukraine. So um, Elon Musk yeah. has um, said that he's going to supply him with um, Star- SpaceX Starlinks. Good man. Yeah, Good man. To, so yeah. they can Free. get so All they can free. get the internet and be able to continually get coverage and you know help with what they need yeah um th- and they said that it won't blo- block n- russian news sources now the way i see it is it kind of could go two ways with that because um now obviously i agree with what he's saying about not blocking it because obviously knowing the enemy and knowing what they're broadcasting yeah. he's been elon's been kind of directed to do that and he said yeah. no yeah. Only at gunpoint, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's which right. means he'd still, if you pointed a gun at him, he'd still do it, <laughs> like you know what I mean. Like, All right, nah, I'll do well, it in the kind of way they are, aren't they? You but, know what I mean. But uh, basically, he's turned around and said, like, you know, um, having that option. Do you know, helps the Ukrainians, doesn't yeah. it, I think? And they're going to need all that. I mean, this is just the start of it. They're going to need a lot more help as, this, uh, as time goes on, to be honest. Yeah, because like, there'll be a lot of propaganda, I mean. But yeah, on the flip side, 
that is could it be a hindrance in this in the respect that you know knowing that they might have that access to that your news feeds and yeah. stuff like that wouldn't you just start feeding the f- fake news and information through that knowing that your enemy could be picking it up well yeah i, I think yeah it 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 depends how uh, if he's got secure um lines i mean he might be able to have secure lines in in the system if well, he has then yeah, yeah like then. say spacex ceo elon Musk said on saturday that he um his company won't block access to the russian media sources on its starlink internet system uh, despite requests to from the governments or yeah. from some governments so all right Drop fair enough all elon yeah man he's, he's doing bits isn't he elon. yeah he's doing his bit you know for, what the, I mean? for the war effort yeah yeah, which, yeah, technically, well, it is, isn't it, really? It'll be soon they'll be having us collecting, like, you know, scrap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the old yeah, days. You're go, you going to the like bombing that. factory. Going to make, make some making bombs today. Some, making bullets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't well, know. another person uh, over this uh, crisis has uh, had to, like, sell up his uh, Chelsea. Oh, yeah. We yeah, were Abramovich, talking about him, yeah. Abramovich, last week, weren't we? But, yeah. I mean, basically, he handed it over to caretakers... Yeah, and now right. he's basically selling it. Yeah. There's so two bidders looking in, one American. I don't. But the know thing the is, one. he's in a position where they just go, if he wants three billion or whatever for it, yeah, yeah right. And he's like, you know, well, he's not in a position really. There's not that many yeah, exactly. people who who can. Long buy he holds it. it, he's going to lose it. Well, the thing is, I've just got a problem with it. I think what they should do is, I mean, I'm not really into the football, but what they should be doing is looking at the characters of the people who are buying these big football clubs because it's like, I know it's a big investment and it helps yeah, yeah. in a lot of ways for yeah. regeneration and stuff like that because that's the deal they do with them. Yeah. You know, they say, oh, well, we'll take the area, we'll revamp it and all the rest of it. Um, but, right. but you know, it's a lot of the time the characters of these people, they've usually got the money shady in some somewhere. shady yeah. uh, way and they've got connections to... Dodgy people. Dodgy people, yeah. Mm. So, I mean, in this case, Abramovich was, like, you know, being watched by, you know, um, know, MI5 MI5 and stuff for, you know, his connections to Putin. Yeah, which the... Yeah, but then they turn around and go, "Well, we can only watch a certain amount of these dodgy people." And if, well, no, you we just you do them, a person, you do a like a, a check on these people before you allow them to to buy sus- substantial businesses that have million, million, billion pound turnovers. Yeah, but if you've got money, I mean, it's more easier now. But in the past, if you've got money, you can hide all that kind. Well, of that's shit. what they're doing. Yeah. That's why they buy these teams and yeah. football clubs because they're probably easy ways to kind of turn dirty money into legitimate money quite quickly. Oh, well, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And then yeah. obviously, if whatever comes after that, he's like, yeah, and I'm famous. I'm a Bramovich. I own well, Chelsea. That's true. Do you know what I mean? Uh, is it his uh, £30 uh, million pound house is uh, looking like that's going up as well? Mm. Uh, yeah, there's quite a uh, bit of businesses that uh, are going to be like transferred uh, pretty soon, I can see. Well, but it's uh, dodgy, isn't it? It is a bit. Well, I found this story, which is um, a, we were going off the um, Ukrainian crisis now yeah. uh, for a little while. Yeah. Uh, but. This is a story about a Florida woman who killed a man. Um, it was a, a thirty million dollar lottery winner. Oh, yeah, and he's um, been funny. trying to keep her name a secret. Yeah. Oh, she until done a good she job? no, she's not. Until oh. she backed a bill to keep her name secret. So oh. basically, Doris Doris Moore, forty nine of ah. uh, Tampa, Ooh, is Doris serving Moore. life. That Doris Moore? Yeah, Doris yeah. Moore. Doris Moore, yeah. Yeah, Doris yeah, Moore, yeah. you Don't know what? Don't forget the name, Doris Moore. Well, Doris Moore wants to keep her name secret. Yeah, So she's back in, she's back in the move. Doris Moore. Sorry, no Doris. More. Yeah. yeah, your name's out there, girl. Now uh, now you got trouble. <laughs> Doris. You, all, that, she's, all them she, emails. She thought Ooh, she had trouble, but now she's got Doris Moore. Actually, yeah. I did see um, a story that is Russian-related. Oh, yeah. right, okay. And, you know, we were talking about the Eurovision and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like, you know, they turned around and said, we're not a political contest. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't mind if, you know, you if you if they come and join in. Wow. Well, is it getting a bit silly now when, like, you know, you've got um, competitions... Um, yeah. Especially, it's like the, this story relates to the Federal um, International Feline um, Association. Oh, right, right. Okay. 
and they basically banned all Russian cats from entering the competitions. <laughs> well, yeah. as in nationality like it's the or the fault. owner? No, the cats itself. The cats themselves, Russian so it's the breeds. Russian breed cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So an international cat federation That's has said naughty. it's banning all Russian cats from entering the competitions. Um, in a statement on the website, uh, the Federation of International Felines said that it was horrified by Russia's invasion of the Ukraine and uh, subsequently decided to disallow Russian cats from competing. Well, it's a statement. I understand it's a statement. I did actually, I mean, I I appreciate, like, there's been a lot of companies pulling out of Russia. Yeah, loads of them, Yeah, like, you know, the high streets looking pretty kind of shabby and closed. Yeah, Apple won't make any Apple products for Russia. Disney won't supply movies to them. No. You know, there's a lot of, you know, companies taking a stand and doing a good thing. McDonald's. I'm yeah. still think are operating. I'm not sure because we were talking about this and about how yeah. Coca Cola, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sold to both sides during World War Two. They yeah. kind of went, no, we're a neutral company, mm. you know. Yeah, and, um, and still I'm not sure today. if McDonald's operate the same way or are they franchised, franchised yeah. and they're just in a contract with a person. Yeah, that and in that case, supply. should they not should they not be cancelling franchises? Well, no, because like it's well, the yeah, contract. It's, well, that's their image. It, yeah, but it, it, if, unless it's been put in the contract, they could be uh, uh, financial problems. Well, I, I'd say if I was the owner of McDonald's time. and there was like people, my franchisees, yeah, were, you know, under, you know, breaking our ethical rules or whatever. Of war. Yeah, yeah, of war, wartime rules, yeah. right? Well, then, yeah, <laughs> then. That. You know, it'd be a different. I'd be, we'd have to do that, yeah. But I don't know what the what their stance on the whole matter is. Are they? Well, we've got like you know, it's a big market for us, so we and we're not going to do that. Well, it, it was big when they went over to Russia and mm. they, they opened the first yeah, one. Totally, it was like I remember. Massive, yeah, so yeah. They, they must be like you know, pretty big there. So, but cats up to them. Cats in a cat competition, though. Well, I mean, let's yeah, be fair. I mean, it's a statement, it's a but cat-ish, like obviously, it? it's like cats don't really do any. I mean, they've not done anything, have they? Yeah, exactly, and it, and that breed. I mean, I could I could see it if you're on about the owners. Is it got? Well, you've got to but, check its passport. Yeah, you know what I mean. But because of its breed, then you're you know what I mean. It's like it's not. It's like you saying it's not the cat's fault. The cat's just like. What the fuck? I, I, what the fuck? I was having a good exactly. time. Exactly. This is exactly how I feel. This is what I'm getting at. I was just thinking about it and I was like, this is really unfair yeah. against cats. The cat's trained its whole yeah. career to get to the level of, you know, um, now, you we've, know we've had pro- what's it? Um, fame and, and enter this cat international feline association yeah. competition, which happen all around the world. Yeah, it's not just right. like, you know, yeah. a, a little small competition. This oh. is big, big stuff for cats, yeah. Yeah. you know. And um, well, it, I only mean, to be told that no, because Putin is yeah. a bit of a you are a waller. Fight, you, you're starting to fight with Russia, but now you're starting to fight with the cats. The you feline know, kingdom did do not do anything. Of the cats. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You don't want you don't deal with them lions. Have you seen any uh, stories, preferably animal and uh, or, or, animal? Or, yes, no, I have. Or but, cat related? Oh, uh, I haven't got cat related, but joking. I have got animal related. Oh, have you? Uh, yeah. Uh, birds dropped dead from uh, unknown cause. You show me the mid-flight. video. You show me the yeah, video. Whatever it was, stunned them birds. Yeah, yeah, because there they was like a whole flock. Do you know when you see like um, yellow head uh, blackberry, uh, blackberries, um, blackberries, <laughs> yellow head blackberries, <laughs> Black straight <birds>. off farm, <laughs> blackbirds. blackbirds yeah. yeah. So these blackbirds, right? Do you know when you see um, a swarm of birds and yeah. they're just like um, just a, a, a mess of kind of in the sky and they're all going the the synchronised ways yeah Yeah. imagine that just falling out of the sky yeah Yeah. caught on camera so some it stunned them because a lot of them you know just bounced and flew back off but something knocked them out of the sky what the hell do you think that was Uh, well they they reckon they put in two suggestions and uh, one of them is not a UFO which I was surprised they they, they buy a bit of UFO alternate thinking yeah we like it what, uh, what did they th- what did they say? They said <laughs> uh, a surge power line, right, 
Oh, possibly. that's potential. Yeah, because they were uh, roughly at the right height. They were near a power line when yeah. uh, when they exploded. Or uh, inhaled toxic uh, gas form from, from some, swamp gas from something uh, that you know just gone into the air. Well, what did it there? Was you inhaled some swamp gas that made you but, see? Well, I don't know if it's swamp from Jupiter. It'd have to be toxic. Uh, that's why they say that the... Well, it's uh, toxic swamp gas. It's like... You, no. It is a... Well, it, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not saying it, it is be. swamp gas, but I mean, is it... I mean, where does toxic gas come from? I mean, toxic generally... areas. Yeah, I know, but wouldn't we know about it and be like, put a fucking... Not necessarily. They could have they Put some hazard a tape around it or something. With someone who's just thrown some, uh, uh, something in there and made this toxic gas and then it's gone up there. Because if you think about <laughs> it, if there's toxic gas what there... What are you doing up there? I'm just making some toxic gas. What about the people I'll around be, the area? If there's minutes. toxic gas in, in the air? It must be toxic gas know. going on around in the area. And this is Mexico. Well, yeah, I suppose. In fact, in fact, didn't we do a story about this? A story about a town in Mexico a while ago, and they basically were getting really tired, and they were like, "We don't know why everyone's getting really tired." Hey, and yeah, they did a they did a yeah. test on them, and they basically found out that they were like there was high methane in the, um, area, in the yeah. area, and then they they basically sorted out the problem, yeah. and now everyone's fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it could be something similar to that. And so, yeah, uh, actually, Chile, yeah. Chile, Chile, on the coast of Chile, um, l- uh, like thousands of uh, species of fish have been uh, floating up to the top, and they don't know what that is either. It's crazy, isn't it? Because it almost could is be the biblical. same thing, like methane or something. That's biblical shit. Possibly. Well, maybe there's a lot of shit going on in the minute, and we keep getting. Fucking worst, don't well, it? you know, I love a good shipwreck story. Oh, yeah, and a bit of treasure. Yeah, oh, oh we love a bit every of treasure. week. I love a bit of tre- every yeah. treasure, treasure, treasure. It's a treasure island, it's here. a treasure hunt. X marks the spot. Mm-hmm. And um, the United States, right? They've found a lot of treasure over the years. They have. Yeah, yeah. Do you know that scene in um, you know, the um, um, national treasure? Oh, yeah, yeah, when they go in and they find the vault and it's like just it, tons of treasure. Yeah. Yeah, well oh, that's what nice. the United States have actually got. You don't know, but that is true. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So the United States, they've got so much treasure that they're giving it back. Huh? Yeah, they're giving it back to people. Where's right? mine? They're like, oh shit, we've got nowhere to put it. Can we just not get it back to the people? My pocket. They're like empty. getting Come onto in. the secretary going, Gene, can you Gene, I've got this artifact here. Can you make sure it gets back to the French? The uh French? yeah, no, fine. No. Thanks, Gene. Come here. <laughs> come here first. Well, basically, the United States have um, returned seven stolen artifacts to the French on Wednesday, um, including five gold bars, yeah, from the 1746 shipwreck. Oh, uh, nice. from a 1746 shipwreck. Nice. Um, after decades-long investigation, uh, the U.S. Federa- federal agency um, seized the items from an online auction in California. Ah, I see. So seven artifacts were transferred from the U.S. government customs and um, enforcement homeland security investigational team. It's a fucking mouthful, isn't it? It is. Uh, to the French ambassador. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, Mate, during a formal happy, reception, happy it's like, here you go, yeah. loads of gold. Thanks, price of gold's just gone up as well. Cheers, Cheers mate. <laughs> French nice, are like, wee, oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> you, you're really, well, the, at this ambassador's reception, you're really spoiling us. That's a nice little Christmas present. Nice. It's right? like, where's the Ferrero Rochers? Oh, please. It's like, please. It's like, come on, I'm disappointed. Or why not? You've just got five bars of gold. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's like there was and no what Ferrero, about the other 50 that you no got in the boat, mate? Rochers. Yeah, we gave five back yeah. as a token of goodwill. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Of Cash it in. But I mean, got it's great. Back. I mean, like I say, it's, it, they've got so much treasure. They, well, they yeah. have to return it to, yeah, well, to um, the rightful like, owners. Like if they're listening, my pocket's empty. Like, I know, you know, I'm sure, I've, I'm sure I've, I've left a couple of gold bars yeah, uh, somewhere. Yeah. I had some very, very, uh, a lot of trinkets in like a, a little chest. In a little box. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was a big chest, really. Oh, I do have another animal story, actually. Ah, go so, for do you it. know a while ago we were talking about um, the Tasmanian tiger? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. was, I watched this documentary basically. It was about a guy who wanted to prove that they were still out and about because they've been extinct, right? Yeah. And they're not uh, ty- they're not apparently that there anymore, and they've been on the extinct list for a while. Yeah. But there's a, a photographer 
who, who claims that they are still out there in right. small numbers, but yeah. obviously the breeding, and he wants to prove it. Yeah. yeah. So he's gone out and you know put trail cams up, and he he's kind of trying to prove trying that to these follow. tigers are still out there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this is an Australian scientist who plans to reintroduce the extinct tiger, Tasmanian ah. tiger. Um, ambitious new project aims to bring back the iconic uh, species back from the dead. Well, I've got a question, that one. I know, go on, what? Uh, well, it won't be a full breed, though. Dun, 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 dun. Something like 96 Well, yeah, of course, yeah. The, uh, well, like totally. And that, this, I mean, if we've not learned anything from Jurassic Park. Well, yeah. You, you know, I mean, well. I know most of my DNA knowledge from Kira from DNA Today yeah. and Jurassic Park. See, see, knowledge so, cool now, uh, But... The Tasmanian tiger is um, one of Australia's most iconic species, yes, um, yeah. even though it's been extinct, extinct since 1936. Um, it's Just like the dog. got a slender, striped uh, body. Yes, yeah. Uh, nice. Big pointy nose. Oh, big nose. It's cool. Yeah, it's a cool tiger. I mean, people want them as pets. Yeah, it's well, like, that's where it all having, goes wrong, We're getting it? phone calls. Can we bring back the Tasmanian tiger? Zoos, yeah, pets. We're not. getting a revamp. It's nah, pets we couldn't have. I knew this was a good idea. I've had loads in the back. Yeah. yeah I've got a load of dodos just in case. <laughs> yeah, just in case. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um well apparently it's gonna cost um what's it, quite a lot of money, but they've I been have they've been um donated uh three point six million or five million dollars. Um nice. Nice to, to get to get the tiger back into the wilderness. Yeah, it started up and yeah, I love a bit of ti- along. tiger action. Yeah, well, hopefully they succeed. Thundercats was good, wasn't it? Yeah, I like Thundercats. Anyway, um, any stories that you want to share? Uh, yeah. On um, this Saturday evening? Video games. Yeah, I, love a, I games. love a bit of video game action. What's your favourite game? Me at the minute is Ghost Recon. Ghost, you love a bit of Ghost Recon yeah, action. Yeah, I was playing that at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I've played some really good games um, on the Game Pass on the Xbox. Oh, um, yeah. But it's one of them where it's like I find a good like good game, yeah. and I like a good story game where it's like hey, I don't even mind yeah. you know those kind of playthrough dead easy to play through walk through games. As I like long the as free roam as long as it's got a good story. Yeah, is yeah, what yeah. I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, you got the short and to short do. and sweet, but you can get through it in a couple of hours. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I like it long. Well, go on. What's the story anyway? Well, the story I like is, it long. Well, it's <laughs> officially uh, put under as uh, addictive and under the uh, Mental Health Act uh, through the WHO, which is the World Health Organization, in uh, 2019. But now... What's addictive? Uh, playing video games. Oh, playing video games. Yeah. Sorry, I, thought, I knew that because you were saying it's about video games. Yeah. Go, go on. What, yeah. The, yeah, so they said they were addictive and yeah, yeah. also Supposedly. loads of people... It kept coming up and going, oh, yeah, and um, the reason why I did this is because video yeah, games, I played video, video games, games. Yeah. Um, I played Grand Theft, so I hit this old woman and got this. Influenced me to do yeah. that. Um, sure it, but it's the same, they try blaming Marilyn Manson. Well, yeah, they, they, they blame everyone, but the way they uh, sort out. Maybe the like, people yeah. think it was an out, yeah, when coming yeah. to court, where they can say, oh, well, I can blame the video games and it's not going to... You know, it's going to be a, a a a reason why I did this. Yeah, right. It's worth a go, but it's yeah, worth a punt, gonna, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, maybe it doesn't fly. But then oh. research starts getting done on why on people it. are kind of uh, do yeah. are people yeah. influenced by video yeah, games? Yeah. Because yeah. I remember when Mortal Kombat came out, there was a big stink about that and about how. Yeah, you know, the and fi- wrestling. Finishing moves, wrestling. finishing moves were going to fucking, like, make people want to do, like, you know, Scorpions finish. Yeah. Like, I'm going to school move. tomorrow and go, kick your ass, boy. Get over here. Yeah. And all that. You know what I mean? So, like, oh, yeah, um, yeah. I don't know how influential video games were on me, mm. but in, in the sense that improving my hand-to-eye co- coordination yeah, and whatnot. That. I mean, what's the study saying? Well, the study's saying now that um, they're saying video game playing is healthy social uh, 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 time. Totally. Uh, I totally agree with that. During lockdown. Yeah, under the COVID pandemic. Me and a group of my mates play um, Xbox, get into a party with each each other. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. Um, Get into a party with each other. Yeah. Most nights, yeah. right, and play a few games or have a chat or just have a catch up, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when the lockdown hit, 
it was uh, something that didn't really change. No. It was like, we'd still meet up online, we'd yeah. still have a chinwag, we'd yeah. still have a play the game, see how you're feeling, yeah, yeah, yeah. all the rest of it. Yeah. And it was a total lifeline. I mean, in terms yeah, of totally. if, the, if the game's consoles didn't exist, it would have been a bit yeah, a lot grimmer. Of people outside. It would have been a lot grimmer. Yeah. I won't lie. I mean, it was a real kind of asset to have yeah, at definitely. home. And I think that's why the sales of them went up through the roof. I mean, well, then I don't after know. After a while, you There's get reasons bored of why, it. I'm not saying that was the reason that why you can't get hold of a games console for love and money most of the time nowadays. Well, the newer ones, chips, especially. It? It's like... Yeah, that's a, one that could be a contributing factor, but yeah. it's like, but obviously it's more about like the actual chipsets and stuff like that. Yeah. And, um, so I mean, yeah, I totally agree with that. I think they are they are kind of um, good for social um, yeah. interaction. I just think, but well, they that still need to it, the, the, go it out. Depends on the be levels social. because it's like when you get to, um, you know ideas like the metaverse and things like that it, it starts getting a bit kind of much whereas yeah. you know speak, you're going to be in there 24 you know, at 7. the moment the it's more like talking on the phone to somebody yeah. being in a xbox party yeah, yeah, or yeah. a social not costing you, a phone, uh, you know a game chat yeah. or whatever it's free it's over the internet That's right. um and it's no different the technology than speaking on the phone yeah right yeah. so it's not too far away from what we already know yeah but we're able true. to get in a group and yeah, talk yeah. rather yeah, yeah. than just being one-on-one conversation that's right so and shoot each other at the same time yeah exactly <laughs> well, yeah exactly um or whatever but yeah. like um the idea behind like these advancements or ideas that bring you into the into this world in a avatar form and you can interact in the same way where you can still have the audio but you've also got this visual that's good i don't think it's needed it's going, i just, that's I just don't think it's needed so i think much. the way we've we have it with occasional video calls i think people kind of even in an avatar mode yeah like the privacy do you know yeah, what i mean well, and how many avatars are you going to find are just on private view and not being displayed because that's not what people are like do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and like so, in a yeah. sense, like the amount of people who hide so offline. So many false people. Yeah, maybe. Um, moving on. Oh, yeah. um, any more stories you'd like to talk about? I've got some funky um, ones. Yeah, uh, a Florida... 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 For stealing a crossbow. I've seen this. Yeah, yeah. By shoving it down his trousers. Did he shoot his toes off? He didn't, unluckily. Yeah. Oh, uh, what a silly, silly man. Uh, yeah, uh, the instant stealing, happened. Stealing a crossbow, though, I mean, there's no. got to be better ways. I mean, shoving it down your pants is like a risky move. I mean, they don't sell them loaded and ready to go is one thing. Well, but, yeah, because I mean, it was a... chained up. He broke the chain. So, right, okay. To actually get past the security and then fr- down the front of his pants as well. Yeah, and he wasn't like a wide boy or anything, you know what I mean? You so it was see super it obvious. It's yeah. like literally got the bow sticking yeah. out of the sides Just of his head. It's a shame hips. he didn't uh, shoot his pecker off. Well, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's a bit of a dangerous place to hide it, it if you're going to shove a crossbow yeah. down the your pants. You don't that spring going, do you, when he's Perf- out there? Uh, there's a, if, there's, if a twang, got, if yeah. you hear a twang, Ooh, yeah. I'd check. Ooh, yeah. I'd be like, uh, everything's still there. Yeah, hell Holy yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, but damn. No, yeah. So, man. what did you think? I mean, where would you hide it? If, I mean, if you where were trying to sneak well, out a crossbow, where would you? Where would you be? Um, first, I'd. Uh, make I'd have sure. a bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just make sure I had a bag. Bag make for sure life. It's closed. <laughs> what? Make sure it's closed. Well, yeah, I'd make sure it was in a box. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd yeah. just. I on wouldn't delivery. be trying to. I wouldn't be trying to steal the the, the display model. I'd oh, be getting yeah. the one that's in the box. Yeah. You know what? Doesn't work. Get on it's all plastic. Usually, you find that, like, you know, in these stores or whatever, there's one. There's a load of them chained up, but they're the ones that you see. You can see it fully, like, you know, in ta- You know, yeah, like, it's like put mobile together. phones, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You used to put the right. proper phones. But, out, but, but the phone, but the phone that you'd get would be like in a cardboard box, slid under on a shelf. Yeah. yeah just below the product, like to say this is what you're buying yeah yeah this is the right. display model but yeah. he's gone in cut the chain tried to steal the display model yeah. when he could have just got a box and shoved that down his pants way easier well yeah yeah so he's got he's got a medical problem this is what you get when you smoke meth kids. well yeah 
Yeah, go. don't do that. Don't shit, take man. meth. Don't do that. Okay, shit. don't drugs bad. Yeah. Right, uh, I have drugs, but I drink a lot of coffee. Yes, yeah, and do. I do drink a lot of coffee, and I think, wow, am I drinking too much coffee? Am I getting a murmur? Wow, well, yeah. Uh, Ooh, uh, that was whoa, that a murmur? Yeah, you don't want murmur. Too much caffeine. Yeah. Well, this personal trainer, she probably died whoa. from drinking too much caffe- caffeine. Damn, she, she had a, a caffeine overdose after accidentally drinking the equivalent of 200 cups of coffee. Fucking hell. Jesus. I mean, a... I mean, people drink espressos and stuff like that. I mean, our mine's quite milky. <laughs> but, and I don't go silly, but yeah, twenty year, 29-year-old personal trainer died from a caffeine overdose in 2001, um, and um, they just recently finished the inquiry. Jesus, um, it's taken a long I know, time Yeah, now. but they had to kind of work out what it was, and they've concluded that, um, she, she, um, he, oh, sorry, he had ingested up to five grams or 0.2 ounces of caffeine powder, which Whoa. was the equivalent to 200 cups of coffee. Whoa, man. That's one strong cup of coffee. A uh, personal trainer, yeah. um, you know, as well, well, you'd think that would it be quite fit. Do you know what I mean? On it, yeah, on uh, how much you should take and what's in his body. Well, yeah, I mean, but again, if you're not used to it and you have a, a in, and you don't know how to, how much to put in your coffee. Yeah, he might not have known you know, this, the, the, this information, yeah. It's I mean, I'm, I, I'm of the, the school of guesstimation when it comes to making a brew. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm like a, I'm like an alchemist. I'm like da 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 da, bit of this, bit of that, and I'm like you know I can kind of judge the measurements without yeah. needing a spoon. Yeah, yeah. Because you often find like especially in workplaces, you're like, Where's where are all the spoons? Yeah. 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 So you're trying to find the spoon, and you just think, fuck it, I'll just guess. Yeah. Yeah. And you just tip. kind of tip tip the jar just Whoops, enough. A little too much. Whoa, and Aww. then you get a bit too much, and you know it because no matter how much yeah. milk you put in, it's, yeah, it's still it's, that, that's still dark, strong. Yeah, like yeah. So you got to be kind of like judge these things quite right. Yeah. But I mean, if they've gone fucking slipped and put up too much coffee in then no, i don't know again. don't know the actual you know no, situation you know behind no, that I'd, I'd i'd put it half in another cup so i've got two cups now there you go there life you go. hack yeah. by taylor Bam. There. you know what not just a pretty face i'm a genius too he's, <laughs> he's a gin he's got a gin on I've his got shoulder i've got a gin on my shoulder on my left telling him to gin on my right go in do you know what taylor yeah pour that into another cup yeah. you'll have two brews save it man i can have one yeah there you go. See, so you never made yeah, me that, one. That's even better. Do one for a friend. Bang. Yeah, there make you go. got a brew for a friend, yeah, and you look. You you, then you look really like um, what's the word? Yeah, uh, uh, smug. <laughs> no, not smug, but like you know, like um, considerate. Yeah, because you've just yeah. gone. Do you, oh, do you know what I thought of you? And not I only that, the next time they go and make you a brew, it's a bit cold, Taylor. They're going to ask you. It's like, yeah, no, because because they had to water it down a bit. Yeah, well, you um, know. We were sat on there. The boss was talking to me for about half hour, chin wagging me. You know what I mean? He was trying well, to get me a pay rise. You fucking, you <laughs> probably rich. probably get your restraining order. Yeah, um, trying to get your job. Do you know what <laughs> though? You know, getting like it's not uncommon mm. that people might get like you know warrants and restraining orders and shit like that. Oh, <laughs> Just yeah. trying to segue to my next story. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, badly. Yeah. I yeah. might add, um, but yeah, if you've ever rented a car from Hertz, yeah, you could. Ooh. You could be basically could be a warrant out. Warrant out for your arrest. Oh, indeed, not. this is a tr- this is true. So if you've if you ever have rented yourself. a car from Hertz, which is quite a lot of people, I should imagine. Yeah, um, a well, thousand. Paula Mur- uh, Paula Murray was thinking about a car she um, rented from Hertz back in 2016 because when she walked into a state police station in January 2021 mm-hmm. um, to finalise her job there, yeah. yeah as um, a dispatcher. All oh, right, okay. She obviously had to go through all the necessary paperwork yeah, and whatnot. checks and that. Um, yeah. That's required. Sure she's a good girl. Do the background checks. Um, and obviously she filled it all out without hesitation. She felt like she had nothing to hide. Yeah. Um, but Although. she brought her grandchildren along to um, the launch of a new career. I don't know why you no. take your grandkids to your, like, you know, it's like, hey, kids, I'm going to be a police dispatcher. Uh, it's my first day. I've got all the paperwork to fill out, but I'm going to bring me grandkids yeah. to witness Gran Probably becoming a police. Also. She's got yeah. a uniform. She's got Grand, a Gran's official. She, I knew she was. I knew she was like scary, but Gran's yeah, but now a she, police she's officer. She's an ass kicker. Right, Gran, Gran's on it. Well, oh, she wasn't that she? much of an ass kicker because she basically, once she filled out the paperwork, 
um, and they discovered, they did the background check on it yeah. and found that they had a warrant out for an outstanding warrant. Oh, so yeah. now she's doing 20 in the maximum well, they, security. Uh, they basically arrested her in front of her grandkids. Oh, yeah. not But not. it turned out that she was wanted for Grand Theft Auto. Oh, right? Granny, yeah. yes. Granny yes. Theft Auto. Yes, yeah. gangster Granny. So, well, no, she because she didn't do it, she was innocent. Oh, so basically, she was, cool, um, she was like, the job offer was gone. Yeah. Um, what had happened instead? Well, the children had to watch a grandmother get handcuffed and arrested, <laughs> with for allegedly stealing a car that she'd first returned to back to Hertz Started years earlier, school, right? So um, she's now one of two hundred and thirty plaintiffs Ooh. who've raised cases and are obviously suffering from Hertz because of false arrests. Yeah, that's um, right. some in some cases, people have even been prosecuted, oh, no, right? Way. Because they've claimed they never got the car back, right? Yeah. And they've been done for Grand Theft Auto or so stealing else, of the car. How's this working out then? So how come they're getting done for Grand Theft Auto with these kind of cars? Well, apparently there's been loads of them because, like, basically Hertz are filing a missing report on the car yeah. and saying that they've rented it out to somebody in a car rental agreement and oh. they've never returned it. So then they put a file in for a missing car, yeah, and a warrant, a wash, a warrant's issued for the the person who they've got on file, yeah, which is in this case Paula. So Paula's now got a warrant out for arrest, which again has cost her a job opportunity. Yeah, um, a kid, grandkids have seen her a different case way. I don't know why she took her grandkids to work in the first place. Yeah. To be honest, but I think that's a lesson. Um, now. it's increasingly getting worse because. Uh-huh. Um, in recent unsealed court documents, Hertz um, admitted, um, on f- average, 3,365 police-reported incidents about stolen vehicles involving its customers each year. Oh, that's yeah. Uh, so that means over the past seven years since um, they've, been do you know, they've been doing it, yeah, that how many people have been implemented in it is more like 23,000 people yeah. um, that have been basically had dealings with hers yeah and, and for all you know with- you could have something on your you know a, your name yeah well that says do you know you books. stole their car oh there you go Jeez. always go sulfur van hire there you go free <laughs> advertisement yeah, for you. There yeah. You go. any other advertisement payment <laughs> <laughs> yeah. everyone gets one yeah, yeah. well <laughs> yeah yeah Talk, you know, have one. you got any more stories? Because I've got a few more. Nah, NASA me now. Oh, NASA you've got a bit of NASA news. Well, yeah. do you know, last week we were talking about a toddler who um, intervened in his father's arrest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seriously, yeah. Kids are getting worse. Oh, yeah. The, you no, know, man. these kids need locking up. Yeah. Right, I mean, I'm not joking. Out. Well, di- we were saying that, though, right? Listen, listen to this do. story these kids do. Yeah. Teacher left classroom on a stretcher. After five-year-old students attacked her. The oh, fuck did she just lie down and go, go and hit me? Well, well maybe, because, like, you know, obviously the rules now is, like, you can't use yeah, corporal can, punishment. Yeah, it's like, what strange. do you do when the kids are hitting you? This is what it's happens like, when you It's like, do you, you have to just it? back down and just take it because you don't want to get struck enough because you were a kid? It's like NATO and Russia again, isn't be it, honest, really? Let's be honest, no matter how much... That kid hits you, yeah, yeah, right. If you hit the kid, you fucked. Then it's you're the one fucked, yeah, because yeah. the kid doesn't he know any better, yeah, really. You just yeah, five year him. old, you, yeah, but you've just yeah. fucking KO'd the kid, yeah, you yeah. karate chop action. Only slaps it. <laughs> like so, basically, very, very. T- um, the, but this teacher was hospitalised after five year old, um, a five year old, um, at wow. Pine Lakes Elementary School. Oh, asked her, um, according to um, the police department, or attacked her, according to the police department. The student used fists and feet uh, to hit the teacher shortly after 10 a.m. on Wednesday um, in a cool down room. In a cool down didn't room? Didn't work, did it? Oh, um, shit. What? No one got the milk. Milk monitor got fired. <laughs> yeah, so after he and a four year old started throwing things at her. Um, she basically oh flipping chairs and according to the incident report uh, the officers responded to the classroom and found the teacher sitting on the ground against the wall um, feeling faint weak and dazed well um, the whole was standing before in the corner. standing um, <laughs> starting to cough and heave 
um, according to the report. So she was a bit stressed out yeah, about it. it. Yeah, she had so a little break. Don't know there. if someone's just threw something at her head and that's why she was feeling dizzy. Yeah, or yeah. It's all the stress of possible. it. But it's possible. She's, she's kids like, well, going on the rampage. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just like Russia and fucking NATO, isn't it? Is, is it really? <laughs> Gee, it's all like, over oh, again. here's the new one now. It's yeah, like, it's it's like World War Two last week. Um, so, what was this? Did you, you see this story about the guy who um, used the, the actual nuclear threat no? as a reason to get out of a speeding oh, ticket? Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah The video's yeah. Um, gone viral online. Yes, um, so a man stopped um, for speeding in Central... F- There's another Florida man. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, there's a lot of them there. He, he blamed Vladimir Putin for <laughs> would that, his, you? his foot on the pedal. You'd try it. Well, I don't know. Why would you? I mean, are you going to get away with it? Yeah. We had, like, I, mean, I think I told you, I mean, I was working at a university and he would, they were saying, like, um, we couldn't get our course working on time because of the ash cloud. Oh, yeah. Or, or you know, when the Icelandic volcano went oh, off. Oh, yeah, yeah. They yeah, used yeah. that as an yeah. excuse and it was like, why? Well, I was in the car with someone who used the excuse, uh, my brother's off to uh, war, uh, he's getting the train now, I need to go. And uh, they got an escort. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, fair enough. I mean, like, it if he's an escort, um, the man here said that he wanted to get back home because he said he just found out that Putin's um, said that he was going to launch nuclear thermal weapon, nuclear weapons yeah, against know. the world. I was trying to get back to my house to find out what was going on. Uh, the driver even ran up to ran a stop that. sign um, in in the deputy's um, sitting right there. See, whilst well, the deputy was sat there, didn't he have a there. mobile? He could have had a look on his mobile. He, he could have. Maybe he didn't have any he credit. Wants. Well, oh, I got well. no credit. Yeah, I, can see, I can see where he's at. Yeah, but still, good good try, but you know. Well, yeah, I'd say <laughs> it's, it's nil pois. Yeah, on that definitely one. nil pois. Um, I wouldn't use it again. Boom, 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 but there's a lot of Florida mans. Yeah, you know, but what's going it, on there? Right. Something in the water? <laughs> Crocodiles, yeah. alligators, I With think. Crossbows. I've got this long story, right? It's a bit of a blue one. So oh, right. Oh, right. Like a bit of a blue. Well, basically, hang on, I need to just enlarge my page. Because, again... What is it? Was it that small? No, yeah, the text <laughs> really small. So, you know what I mean? I have, to have trouble seeing. You do. Um, yeah. Right, one minute. Yeah, so this is um, an adult company. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That has um, taken an unusual step to offering their ploy- employees a new health perk. A new health perk? A Ooh, new health perk. Good. Yeah, so they've installed four pods. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. For employees to masturbate in. Y- you what? Yeah, you heard me correctly. And um, basically, since, like, you know, we obviously a lockdown. So we've got wank tanks going wank off t- down, down <laughs> wank there. T- they look really space age. Yeah, they? They're right? still a wank tank. But they've got 200 employees, right? Yeah, so this hey, is a oh. Cypriot based company. Um, they're an adult website, um, Strip Chat. So they've installed four wank banks or wank, <laughs> wank pods. Uh, for their it. 200 employees it's, they're going to they have to share yeah, they're, just, they're going to have to share aren't they they can't go in a, you know it's like well they all clean the hands after that. there'll be a queue oh, yeah. get, have you got the debt all yeah oh yeah yeah. Well, 200 I mean, employees will allow 30 minutes paid break. 30 minutes? Just yeah. give me five, mate. During the work hours to make um, you know use of the pods um, right, yeah, lying there for 25 minutes, then finishes off. So, you know, the decision to install the pods was made um, to help employees cope with the stress of COVID-19 pandemic. Oh, my God. And as well, did you not hear about that story? Story. There was loads of stories coming out about, like, you know, people going back to work. And yeah. then, because they were just so used to working from home and, you know, being able to have an, a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall they're we just say. taking a break whenever yeah, they want. Yeah, they were just like, forgot where they were. And oh, we're like, oh shit, got sh- caught, and yeah. like, we're like, oh no. I've Told lost, off the boss said, the right, I'm, the, I'm, I'm taking your money. Space age. I mean, do you think like the pods are, um, you know, a, a, a good idea? The pods, um, they quite look quite futuristic. They're equipped with uh, 4K screens, Oculus. Oh right, 4K VR screen. VR headsets All right. and a box of tissues. Dude, the headsets will need change. And I think I put my, I take my own stuff in there. Also. These chairs, comfortable chairs, um, to relax in, and I, also, um, like you know, um, can I take another employee in there? I don't know. Question. That's that's another question, indeed. That's something to ask HR. Yes, oh yes, yes. Yeah. I'll be going in there and asking them. Are you coming in the like, pod? Um, uh, 
Janet from HR. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just you... pop with me in the pod. Yeah. I want to ask you a question. We want to ask a yeah. question in the pod yeah. about the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't um, worry, it'll take 45 minutes. <laughs> is me being in here with you violating any sort of... Yeah, and what stays in the pod... You know, what goes on in the pod stays in the pod. I didn't like say Like I say, nothing. you've got to share these two. There's only four pods and 200 staff. So anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of fun going to be think, hanging around. Right, now, I think they? we're taking that mm. one too far, Taylor. Well, so I let's... think they did, to be honest. Okay, I, no, think, I think you wait until you get home. Just wait until you get home. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, you missies. said you had some NASA sort of news. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, give us some NASA news. I'll give you some NASA news. Seems you give me the bluey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk. Is uh, looking into uh, possibly taking over the ISS, the International Space Station. Um, and on top of that, a second piece of news is that um, uh, NASA's uh, in a little bit of trouble um, over this uh, Russia uh, conflict because uh, they were wondering now how to keep uh, their space station aloft without uh, Russian boosters because the ISS has uh, basically gone vertical. Well, Putin, I mean, Putin, and Elon Russia. Musk's even got rockets. So Elon Musk can sell well, it. yeah, that should be the solve because uh, Russia I now, because rockets. of the sanctions, Russia's turned around and said, well, uh, you know them 500-ton uh, rockets that you use to keep yourself stable? You can fuck off now. You're not having them cunts. Uh, so I think Elon Musk is... Uh, uh, he, he's got the rockets and he can fucking, like you said, mm. sort it out. Well, hopefully. There you go. But yeah. it'd be a good uh, standoff for him and we can get uh, further into space much quicker because. Because he'll have a bit of a base it, of yeah, operations look, yeah. out on orbit. Yeah. And yeah, then, you know, like, not the Russian one. To be out, honest, it's, he's probably, well, it's like when you move into a new house and you've got, like, you know, you come in and you're like, well, right, we're going to knock that wall down. Yeah, we're going to do yeah. a bit of, um, you know, an expansion and a bit of. A, he's got yeah. plans for yeah. that. Yeah, I good. reckon. I, I mean, so. he's not just going to leave it as is. He's going to wow. do. It's not a case of just being able to fix it up. I think he's going to expand on it and create it into something a bit more than yeah. what it yeah. is today. So we'll, we can only watch that and see where it goes, to be honest. There's been loads of options thrown at the place at the moment, no? Because yeah, because at gonna... one point it was going to be a hotel of some description, weren't it? Yeah, it yeah. was like, you know, for you know your business types, yeah. your Jeff Bezos is going to stay up on the space station for a couple of weeks. Then it was going to be sold as uh, to private companies. Uh, then it was uh, they had the added issues and that it might fall out of space. Uh, then last week they <laughs> were looking at blowing the fucker up. Yeah, true that. Uh, so there's been a lot of issues around it. But if Elon Musk can actually be able to get there and fix it and actually put these like booster rockets on and put it back into orbit, nice and nice and <laughs> easy. And then get his ships up there, start creating, you know. See what happens. Like I say, all we can do is follow it now and yeah. see um, see where he takes it. So I'm yeah. interested. I'm interested. It's Can't wait to see. Um, I've got a story here about um, a UFO sighting. Oh, yeah. Um, it's basically a triangular-shaped UFO um, that's been seen lurking over two major cities. Lurking? Uh, for two hours at a time. Um, the unusual object was spotted um, prowling over the skies of Islamabad. Looking for Russians, that's what he's doing. Is that what he was yeah, doing? He was, yeah, he was hunting Russians down. And that's in Pakistan. Don't know what they ah. were doing looking for Russians there. Well, they're um, riding out a bit, you know what I mean? It was daylight hours, yeah. and uh, gobsmacked people were uh, said that they spent um, the two hours watching it, um, this triangular shaped hovering um, above them. I hope they've got a good video the of it. I here. think there I've is a video seen... that's going round actually, so I'll get that on tweeted. I think I'll I've seen the shit. video of that actually. Uh, glanced it today, uh, but yeah, it, if it's the one I'm thinking of, yeah, it looks like a really good image. But for two hours there, they yeah, they could have got more. more. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, there's, uh, but then again, they're, they're, there's always been a question about filming um, uh, these objects and them noticing you in. You know, there's uh, there's still a lot of uh, things around these ships that we can't quite, you know, fit into place because we can't see them properly majority of the time, especially if we're trying to film and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's one here again, um, which is a, another UFO sighting, which hmm. is uh, over Germany, uh, oh, right. Foo Fighters. Ah, so this cool UFO Foo clip Fighters. grabbed the attention um, of ufologists, um, basically saying um, that... It was. It's been analysed, and yeah. it seems like the claims that of the event are solid. 
right uh, so, solid proof right so, so it looks you like know, there's a bit more proof out there who knows but, i mean it is a bizarre story and a bit of a cool theory but you know we're we'll getting more and more which is i think fun. this is it but i mean it, the fact that it was over Germany makes me laugh because it's like, oh, we heard there's a war. We just got, oh, it's not you guys this time. Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah they stopped us from flying over <laughs> weapons, but uh, yeah, UFO pops into the area. You never know like, what, but yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, who knows if like the Russians maybe have this technology? Well, no if, one's ever yeah, questioned that, this uh, this idea. Great. They is in the sense that they say yeah, that they've been in, but they've been doing stuff behind the curtain that you know yeah, that we've never time. even seen, and yeah. they've been adva- while we've been fighting terrorism, they've been advancing weaponry. Yeah, I mean, who knows what they've got? Yeah, oh, yeah. you know, to yeah. to be honest, they could be on the same par as like, or even further along the line for all we know. It, it, Don't hopefully. scare mongering people. Hopefully, but, not, they're not, I mean. but and. But, you know, we just got to get that dickhead out of the, uh, the presence. Well, I tweeted that the other day. I was like, um, hi, guys. Um, if there's any SAS types, um, you know, could yeah. you um, just possibly, uh, just, you, know, you know, give just me a bit assa- of a slap. Just assassinate him. Knife around the front. Yeah, that'd be all right. Well, there you go. Um, yeah. Have you got any more news stories to want to talk about? I Is that it? it out. Well, yes. I think that might be the end of the show. I, I, it sounds like it's it. It does sound like it. it. And I appreciate yeah. everyone who's managed to stay with us to well the end. Well done. You, you well get done. a chuffy badge You get a chuffy badge. You get a gold star. You do. Big ribbon. Yeah. And, uh, my, my adoring ab- admiration. And if you go outside and you see a flower, pick that flower up. That's from us to my you. My gin says thank you too. Yes, my gin does. Uh, but the other one's arguing with the other one. Gin and John. G- hey, that's good, that. Gin, gin and John. Gin and John. It's a Saturday morning cartoon in that somewhere. Well, if you want to talk about anything we've discussed in the show, I mean, if you've got more of an insight or you want to, if you're an expert in gins, come on the show. We want to hear. I mean, we've we've had a good, we've had a look and I'm interested in this stuff. So, you know, if you want to come on the show and talk about gins, demons, whatever, tell us a bit more about it. We want to find out um, if, if anything else affected you. Sound like BBC or one of them TV channels. Yeah, don't we? If you've yeah, been yeah. affected by Not anything, that, if you've been affected by anything that's been raised in this show, then ring off com. Yeah, and they won't do anything. No, I'm joking. As it's you. like who are they? <laughs> who are they? We we're like, oh, we're no one. Anyway, well, if you've enjoyed the show, we yeah. appreciate you. Uh, thank you for joining us and listening. And don't forget, uh, Eddie Sullivan Experience Show. Uh, yes, you can see uh, my. I'll be uh, posting links. Video. I'll be yes. posting links um, over the coming days to that. Yeah. Uh, probably Sunday, yeah. you'll get a link to that over social media um, yeah. as I'd well. Like, yeah, I'd like to find out what uh, people's opinions are on that as well and how yeah. I was. Well, we're getting about. Yeah. Taylor's getting, yeah, about. getting about. I'll be getting know, about getting slack. appearances on other shows as well yes. shortly. We will be doing. It's, it's exciting time. It is. Well, it is. It's exciting, but also... Weird, 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 weird times. Oh, very weird, very weird. So, so on a good uh, get weird, in though. touch. Like I say, we're available on all social media platforms, including Twitter and Instagram. We are. Um, you can find us on the website at neverastraightanswer.co.uk. You can email us through the website or just directly at neverastraightanswer at gmail.com. Come on, you know you wanna. We're available on all podcast platforms, wherever you get your podcast fix. Yeah, baby. As the the old saying goes, it is an old like saying. and subscribe. Yes, it's an old old. Keep doing it's it. It's been said tell since the friends, dawn of tell time. Tell your neighbours. Tell your mum. Yeah. Tell your milkman. Spread the word. It's like, like the bird. It's get, it's, when the milkman comes with the milk, just these two questions to ask him: yeah. Are you my dad? And have you <laughs> seen? The, have you heard? The Never a Straight Answer podcast. <laughs> and if you are, where we spends? Right. Yeah. Backdated. <laughs> yeah. Well, backdated, money. man. Right. Sort it out. <laughs> there you go. So we'll be back next week for another episode um, and a crazy topic to boot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So stay tuned. Yay. 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 We've also got so oh, well, just, just, just to finish off, we do have mm. merch available. We do. We, we have do. other stuff. Go to the website. It's all yeah. good. We like a cup of coffee as well, as we uh, have already said in the news. We love a cup love of a coffee. Love a brew. So if you want to just, you know, send us enough yeah. uh, through, the, through our support and methods. Yeah, yeah, for a coffee. Then we can get a drink. You see, <laughs> I'm parched. Please, sir, and I will can be I have making, some more? I will be making Taylor <laughs> brew up after the show. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's the end of us. Uh, yes. End of us. It's the end it's of us. It's the end, of, it's the yeah. end of the show. Yes. Uh, we will be back. We will, Next indeed. week. Yes, hopefully. All, all intact. Yes. Hopefully um, things go good. Anyway, um, yeah. right. Well, I've been Gaz. I've been Taylor. 
We've been the Never Straight Answer Podcast. We'll catch you next time. Peace. Out. Ah. <laughs>